Yeah, well, every time before we like do the podcast, I just visit the Insta Snaps to see it, like the vibe, the vibe that you and Rory are in. So today, when Rory get into his, I'm gonna just take a picture of every song I'm listening to and show y'all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm like, ooh, yeah, we getting that Rory today? Yeah, man. <laughs> so then, sure enough, Rory comes in with mad music shit on his list. Bad music came out today. Yeah. As every Friday of this year. Right. <laughs> that is true. Now, we had like a one week off last week. I think there was a little... little yeah, yeah last like, week it was slow. It was a little light. I, I kind of like the music that came out. I'm, like, come sick on, let's of, go. I'm sick of Apple, too. I'm sick of Apple showing me like all of these white bands that come out every Friday. Why would you check <laughs> Apple? I only check Spotify. True. Yeah. They got the Spotify watch app now. I'm pretty excited about that. Yeah. Let's make everything Spotify. Yeah. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> you wasn't outside, Rory. Don't even look at it. Don't even, don't even look at it. Don't even look at it. I'm definitely gonna make a shirt that says I wasn't outside. Um, what was Maul? Maul wasn't cool when this was out. I was cool when this. No, you were not. Very cool. No, you weren't. It was. It was this is cool. before Harlem niggas. You know what I mean, nah, this, this, at what what age cool. do you think y'all were cool? I was born cool, nigga. Don't ever ask me no shit I, like that's, that. that's not even cool to say. You know what I mean? I've, been, I've never been cool. Ever. Okay. At no point did niggas look at me like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> at no point? <laughs> niggas they they never look at me like, no, ooh. No, never. Not even when you had the, the blonde hair? Oh, I see. Call back. That's why, yeah, that's why I hate starting with a joke with Rory, because then he just looked for a pocket to return fire. As he should. This nigga yeah. is corny. <laughs> Duck low and keep firing. Stick and move. <laughs> Gotta let it rock on a Saturday morning. Gotta let it rock. Oh, uh, if you ain't sing the bridge when it came on, hey. hey, hey. See, that's how I know more wasn't cool. He don't even know niggas was singing this part to you and I. <laughs> <laughs> and I might still serve niggas in karaoke over the fab of my lady now that I think about it. <laughs> Honestly. Is your go to? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that hollow Jodeci line stung on stage, it did. That was a good line. <laughs> yeah, that was that was his best bar. That was a shit. fucking bar. That was, uh, relax, nigga. Nah, he got yeah, that no. up. <laughs> Slow down. Yeah. <laughs> he he said stung, that. I was like, it stung on stage. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh. It stung off stage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was I was on yeah, my computer. The, 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 all right, guys. <laughs> you had to see the reaction in the crowd. Your face might have scrunched up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> even Only y'all would face. find shit to laugh about over forever, my lady. <laughs> Oh my god. Well, you know what unstung? When he, ah. in, when he walked in a circle around you and said, Yo, I'm rapping circles around you. Then he was unstung, I think, at that point. I didn't like that one. That was whack. Yeah. That, <laughs> that bar was really bad. Hollow's oh, no. better than that bar. And when Hollow, when he put the little imaginary bag on the floor and said, That means I'm about to get in my bag or something like that. <laughs> 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 no Don't ever put that imaginary, imaginary bag on the floor <laughs> I'm Imaginary kick that shit <laughs> Yeah word Recycle hollow Oh man I think my mom's was still cool When this song was out I don't want to think about it <laughs> This is 88 Yeah Yeah 89 80, 88 87 Alright I'm getting sad playing these songs, so I'm turning them off. Uh, microphone check, one, two, one, two. New, new job. No warrior ma. What, what episode is this, 197? That's crazy. That's craziness. Yeah, we up to it. So much for 200. Welcome to episode 197 <laughs> of the Joe week. Budden Podcast. I am your host, Joe Budden, here with a few of my nearest and dearest friends. Uh, Parks is here. Rory is here. Maul is here. Erickson is here. Savon is here. Again, please pardon my voice if I sound a little under the weather. 
Uh, I was trapped in a vehicle for 10 hours yesterday. Uh, the weather's been fluctuating. It shouldn't be this cold right this second. It's fall, but we'll get into that a little later. Uh, I want to say what up to the entire Spotify community. Let me say what up to the YouTube viewership, everybody listening at home, everybody working, scammers, hedge fund people. Hi, everybody. Mature audience, immature audience. How's everybody doing? You good? You good? Everybody good? good. Savon, you good? Yeah, I can speak for the immature audience. We're doing all right. <laughs> Good, good. I'm I'm glad to hear that. Ma, how how you doing? I'm good. I'm great. Uh, let's start let's start with Kim. <laughs> let's let's start there. Oh, uh, rightfully so. Playing yeah, forever, for sure. Yeah. for sure. Rest in peace. You know, rest in peace to Kim Porter. Uh prayers and condolences to the entire family. I cannot begin to imagine what they are going through over there. Um, but man, I the Kim's death has really had me thinking about um uh, just the fusion of R and B and hip hop and the roles that she played, Andre Harrell played, Guy played, Puff played, like that whole uptown era. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. we joke a lot on this podcast today about, you know, how women are like the glue of hip hop or like if the women really started talking about, should we talk about like that? But mm -hmm. wow, like that's important fucking shit. Yeah. If if you yeah, really absolutely. think of the the grand scheme of the roles played in the evolution of music and just what it's doing today and how it sounds. Mm. Even it's five of my lady shit. No, don't let me just keep talking, y'all. No. Y'all say something, goddammit. No, I mean, I, that, that was written right. for her. So, it, you know, it was fitting that you played that. Um, so, yeah, man, it's, you know, it's definitely a prayers and condolences to her family. So sudden, man. It's, that that definitely took me by surprise, hearing that news. And, um, you know, the holidays being right around the corner, it's just a lot. I think that's that's the part that, yeah, right before the holidays. <laughs> yeah. So definitely, you, you never know. want to plan a funeral right before the holidays. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, that's that's tough, man. So young. Yeah, that was a that was a the other part that kind of was like you start thinking like, you know, forty seven. <sighs> to lose your this mom is the second young? time that that's happened to me leaving leaving state of the culture. Mm. What was the other time? Mac Miller. All right. Yeah. And if I think hard enough, it might have been a third. We're right. Uh, X maybe? Triple X. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't it's, that's uncomfortable. Like, that's uncomfortable to think of. You know, at first, I didn't even know what to say. You know, as somebody who is kind of personal with Puff a little bit. Right. I'm really bad in those moments. It's tough. Yeah, like what? Anything you do say isn't going to help. Well, I assume for the, your phone to be rather busy. Yeah, for sure. I assume for you that this is a time for your immediate and close people. You know, I assume that, you know, I assume a lot, but it's not our job to assume. It's our job to be there for people we care about and love and just let them know that we're there. So today I sent a text that just said, I love you. You're you and the family in my prayers, right? And and that's that. I I don't I don't know what else to say. I don't know what else to say. I can't imagine what he would be going through. And and, that, and that's Puff the is in that for me. that position too. That he has to be strong for his kids. So can he even grieve yet? Like oh no! He, he oh, no. has he, to be the rock oh, for them. Oh, he's gonna grieve. <laughs> no, of course I'm not saying <laughs> he's sure. not. But that immediate thing is he has to be the leader for that family. That was the other thing. Like I was thinking about like stopping like a lot of people in the music business you know we've a lot of people in the music business have the luxury of not really facing things because we're constantly active right um so when you have to stop and just look at it all and feel it all and face it all He's grieving. <laughs> he's he's grieving. 
you don't you don't take that kind of loss and uh i wish there was something i could say to try to explain to the 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 audience exactly how close they were but it's not my place and he's grieving for sure period period so they're in my prayers uh the kids are in my prayers like it's just got to be an extremely difficult time uh and really great to see the outpouring of love from the entire community uh so again rest in peace kim kim porter uh and I, yeah I'm, I'm i don't know what to say i don't know what to say yeah i mean her impact i noticed especially with women in particular and what she represented to women was yeah yeah was a lot to see on that day yeah like shit she really kind of was a staple for y'all and what she did and represented yeah my first time ever seeing kim porter or ever really attempting to find out who she was was my first time at the grammys like def jam was making me go to the grammys i didn't really want to go <laughs> <laughs> weren't you nominated um no not this one okay not this I one said, in joe budden fashion nominated and doesn't want to go oh actually it, <laughs> yeah not that one it was this was a different one i don't remember because it was that long ago mm. but i really didn't want to go and i'm assuming that i would have went to an award show already for me to not want to go to the grammys <laughs> right like who don't want to go to the grammys when i was nominated i was hype right yeah so this time i didn't want to go so i'm there this maybe might have been like my second award show in LA or in New York, I don't remember because I don't remember. But everybody was dressed to the nines. Everybody was beautiful. I didn't know shit about shit because I was stupid. I'm still stupid, but I was real dumb then. And Puff walked in with Kim, <laughs> <laughs> and she stole the room. I'm sure. I'm not saying that because of this moment that we're in. With all of them beautiful people in there, she stole the room. I forgot who I asked. I said, who the fuck is that? <laughs> God. Nah, some people have that weird aura and energy where you have to ask, yo, who the fuck is that person? Yeah, yeah. She made Puff look different. <laughs> and it's not even, and while Kim was extremely beautiful, that's not the aura I'm talking about. Some people just have a weird energy around them. Yeah. Um, I say that to say when, when I'm watching everybody put these pictures up and these posts and just how well received and uh, well loved she was. Everybody's making mention of the energy. Like I don't, I don't think that's by by chance. I don't think it's a coincidence. Mm -hmm. Like me as somebody who really subscribes to that shit, it's good to see. Again, rest in peace, Kim Porter. She's in our prayers. Um, so I'm gonna play outstanding because I don't really know how to how else to get away from from such a dark subject. Well, you know, it's, but it's not because dark. you celebrate life, man. We got to celebrate life. And that is Celebrate true. her life. And, you know, the beautiful spirit that she was, the beautiful person that she was. And, Mother, yeah. too. You know. Hmm? Mother, too. Yeah. And, I mean, the blessed part about it, you know, is, I mean, if you have to find gratitude, which that's how I live, uh... You know, Quincy just got this uh, new show on Stars or some shit. Mm -hmm. So recently they were all at the premiere. So I saw a lot of pictures of that. Uh, thank God that this did not occur on Puff's birthday. Jesus, thank God this didn't happen. Mm. And that was close. That yeah. was a few weeks ago. Yeah. Um, I'm just glad that God allowed the people that love her to see her, you know, mm -hmm. in great spirits. And amazing shit happening before it was over. Mm. Or That's true important. Indeed. That's true important. Indeed. Yeah, let me hit an air horn for that. I will. Mm -hmm. Mic check, mic check, mic check, mic check. Yeah, you know I mean, gotta get my <laughs> gotta get back in my <laughs> All right. Okay. Now, Maul, do you know my friend Keith? Keith, Keith, Keith. Uh, why does that? Rory knows my friend Keith. I know Keith. We play cards with Keith. 
Oh, light skin Keith? Yeah, Keith. light skin Keith. Keith likes to debate. He always yeah. wants to argue about EPMD versus tribe versus tribe. And I'll switch on him. He loves his, he loves his shit on tribe. Yeah. He always wants to. He always has a wild sports take, yeah. but you know that's part of my my card playing click. Like and us. that's part of playing cards. It has to be one of those people at the table, though. Sure. It's me. I think it's a strategy pop. to like really distract everybody. Yeah. <laughs> it's me and Elk, but Keith is in his 40s. He really is. He really believes some of the wild shit he'd be saying. <laughs> yeah. So it's me, Keith, Pop, uh, T. It's, like, it's, it's, a, it's a bunch of us. Uh, it's that whole crew on 145th and Lennox. We play cards with the old people. It's where I got robbed at. As you know, we got, we got a community, <laughs> mm -hmm. right? How convenient is that? <laughs> so... I play the spades. Mm -hmm. Keith and them, they're a bit more advanced. They do pinochle sometimes. My memory is not that good. Uh, they do bid with from time to time, mm -hmm. right? Trust me, this story has a point. Mm -hmm. So the other day, I'm watching the news, and the, and the news they say they said the New York <laughs> the New York. Uh, Mega Lottery Millions winner identity is being released today. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wait, why? Because he they they, they couldn't find the winner in oh, New York, the him. Harlem okay, dude. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. It was a nigga in Harlem that won, and a lady in Cleveland, or Idaho, wherever that won for the for the big the one for the big one or whatever. Yeah. For the big one, yeah. the, the New York winner won three hundred and forty five million after taxes. It was one hundred and twenty five million with. 300,000, 25, it was something crazy. It's going to be a good summer in Harlem. Right. So I'm watching that in the news. I think that was Thursday or some shit, yeah, before we was going to work. Uh, yeah. And I said, oh, that's a mistake. Like, why, <laughs> would, why wouldn't the nigga pay to have his identity kept? Yeah. Because I know that's an option. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> but then I had to go to work, so I didn't get to see nothing. Mm -hmm. So then my father's calling me all day long. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Did Keith win? <laughs> My father's calling me all day long. Oh, Webstar just called. And when I finally call him back, he says, <laughs> he says, yo, just by chance, did you see who won the Mega Millions in New York? <laughs> and I said, no. Why? And he starts dying laughing because it's our man Bailey <laughs> that we play cards with, right? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> When I tell you, Bailey is one of the weirdest niggas in the world. <laughs> and he, he don't have a phone. Right. Like, like niggas. So he don't even know he was. Like, went. all of the furniture in the crib might be antique. Yeah. Like, <laughs> niggas in the park. You know, so Keith, I'm bringing up Keith because this man was Keith's bid with partner. Mm -hmm. And I think Keith deaded him. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit yeah Keith was like one of the only people to like really be close to him and yeah. then he deaded him yeah Damn. <laughs> checked out too early so my father's laughing and he, he don't says, even have a phone they be like yo my, my fault my father's <laughs> laughing because he said Keith is in the hospital sick growing up because <laughs> he hit <laughs> Because just two weeks ago they was in the park yeah. saying, "Yo, let's play bid with Keith. Call, call Bailey." Yeah, uh, <laughs> he's like, like, nah, I ain't gonna like, fuck with that nigga. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So I wanted to just give you that because I'm calling Keith. <laughs> <laughs> give me this thing. <laughs> that nigga hit for a buck twenty five. <laughs> Millie on your ass. <laughs> you cut your partner off. Yo, the Holy world is shit. so small, man. Life That's is, crazy. Funny, he man. was playing the same numbers for 25 years. Wow. Oh, I read that. Mm -hmm. Fucking Bailey. I read that headline today. Fucking Bailey. That was him. That's hilarious. <laughs> Bailey's playing the same numbers for 25 years. Wasn't even going to walk in that little store one morning. Hopped out, just walked in, spent Played. $20, went on about Hit. his day. Hit. When I tell you that Bailey ain't going to spend none of that, that's right. how weird Bailey is. Well, I will say, Bailey is in need of a partner, and I'm available. <laughs> Bailey ain't coming to our little spade game today. <laughs> we was having a spade tournament. Bagel, Bailey ba Bailey yeah. will start talking great. Yo, it's five million a hand. <laughs> Dead ass. Y'all ain't got it? All right, I'm out. Y'all ain't got it. Word. I'm out. I would too. I'm, I'm thinking I got Word. some money. Oh, yeah. two, two, two dollars table over here? Five, yeah, five I'm going to wipe my ass with that. <laughs> He 
doesn't know I'm going. He ain't answering that shit. Keith ain't answering. Well, he might still be in the hospital. Keith somewhere throwing up. (laughs) Yo. Keith, this is Joe Budden from the Joe Budden Podcast. How you doing? I'm all right. What's good? Are you all right? Yeah, I'm good. What's up? No, I heard Pop told me he was a little sick this week. You know why. My fucking wish father hit the fucking lottery, you know? And I can't run two niggas together. They got all fucking sick. I'm fucking sick, yo. Yo, that's a drop. Yo, that I, nigga, huh? I can't believe that this is like a real thing. <laughs> Oh my fucking god! I I am sick. But listen, but huh? damn, you can't even try to like get cool with him now. <laughs> my nigga, I was camped out in front of his building for days. That nigga ain't been home. In- <laughs> that, that nigga, nigga ain't been home in weeks. That nigga live downtown nah. in the Trump, nigga. <laughs> all, 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 all I got for my trouble. Was a picture of him on a newspaper sent to me by some by by TJ. <laughs> like, oh my god, that nigga good. How <laughs> you get up yeah, on twenty five M's on a nigga? <laughs> That's wild. That's that nigga is out of here. He, he is he, out of he, here. He ain't gonna spend much of that money. <laughs> oh man, I ain't gonna see none of it. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> You're not gonna see a dollar of that shit. I see. I see you coming to the spade tournament, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have to get some money from you, nigga. You're the only other billionaire I know. <laughs> hey, hey, just go wait at Bailey Mom Crib, huh? Just go wait at Bailey Mom Crib. Oh my god, I'm gonna kidnap her ass. <laughs> wait. All right, all right, no. All right, bye, Keith. We out, man. See you later. <laughs> That nigga said I'm gonna oh. kidnap Bailey's moms. <laughs> I appreciate his honesty though. <laughs> said, Yo, I'm yeah. outside his building right now. Right now, oh, we'll stay here. Said all week. Yeah, all week. <laughs> Bailey been staying at the Trump International. He don't <laughs> you don't find him. I'm glad it's finally somebody like that. I know that hit that I know probably needed the 125 yeah. million. Not mm-hmm. like some. Rich white person already in the middle of the country somewhere. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. the last one that hit that wild five hundred million shit was in Chino Hills, millionaire. Yeah, the wow. fucking oil owner or some yeah. shit. Oh, God. <laughs> that, that rigged it already. Oh, got some new Supreme money. <laughs> some Not new, for new nothing, sneaker money. That's what they were saying. Yeah. Yeah. Not for nothing. Money. That actually makes me trust the lottery just a little bit now. Nah, because I always thought that shit was rigged, and I didn't know nobody that knew the person. They was just it is rigged. It's definitely there. rigged. <laughs> They want they got fucking so three hundred billion and and gave you niggas fucking. Oh one no 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 no! It's rigged in that sense. I meant like the winner. <laughs> oh. we, we've never met or like really seen the winner. It's a picture. And we'll never see Bailey again. <laughs> no, I hope so. <laughs> get out of here, so, yeah, <laughs> get, yeah. get the fuck out of New York. Bailey's um, gone. Yeah, go to Miami. Or something. So I was trapped in a vehicle. <laughs> I was trapped in a vehicle on uh, I Interstate two eighty in New Jersey for seven hours yesterday. By yourself, too, right? Uh, the driver. Oh, okay. I wasn't driving. Oh, that's good. Oh, no, 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 no. Yo, was yeah. it an Uber? No, 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 no. <laughs> I wonder what that ticket would be. It wasn't an Uber. It was Uber refunded everybody. Oh, okay. It was, a, it was a service. It was a car service, but he wasn't an aggressive driver. Uh, that can get annoying. Yeah. Well, yesterday, it didn't matter how aggressive the driver. Well, slow down. It did where nah. I was. It did where I was. Some people don't know how to get busy in traffic. There's a way to get through that shit. Mm, there I don't is know about that shit. That's not fast, nice. but there's a way. What I'm saying, you could do better. Thank you, yeah. Rory's. Yeah. You both are correct. If right. you're in a deadlock somewhere, of course you can't go anywhere. Right, right. But in horrible weather conditions, how far you get normally depends on your driving ability. Like, can you get around these accidents? Not mm-hmm. the perfect lane. Right. The yeah. idiot mergers. The, <laughs> right. the sliding car over there. Like. So this guy here, this fucking driver, and shout out to him because we got it. We got through it. That was a bid in a car. That was seven, a bid on a highway. Seven yeah. for two miles. I left work at three thirty and walked in at my house at a quarter to ten. That was the first time in my entire life I was thankful for the MTA. Like above, they driving. was fucked up too. Yeah, the MTA nah, was twisted. It's like a twenty minute, twenty minute wait. On I the got line. home in an hour and fifteen minutes. <laughs> nah, everything was fucked up. 
Yeah. Everything from Jersey. That's not bad. I, I, but the the crazy shit is, I still don't understand why because it wasn't that much. Like we've been in snow before. Yeah, like real blizzards Dog, where that was it wasn't nothing. that. Like yeah. the traffic was nowhere that was near that. In real blizzards, couple inches. No, I'm 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 really angry about it though. No, no it was I'm crazy. mildly furious. It was crazy. <laughs> I, I feel like I how people f- were in Atlanta that, that year when it snowed like half an inch. Well, ye- yesterday I formally apologized on Twitter for all the Atlanta jokes I made because they get a centimeter of snow mm-hmm. and the whole city shut down. It looked like Atlanta with buildings yesterday. Yeah, yeah. it was crazy. I didn't. I still don't. And understand it's not that. the people we know how to move in that type of shit. But damn, like, can we get a grain of salt? I was right. about to go out with some morts and just put that shit out there. <laughs> but it was actually it got to a point where it, you know I just started thinking it was some scary. It was scary because you start thinking like. Yo, the city can really be crippled like at any moment. Right. Oh yeah. Because if that crippled the city, it's like, yo, I would, yeah, these niggas ain't bright. That shit is crazy, man. <laughs> man, have, wait, wait till some I am legend shit. We all really got to get out. Oh yeah, it ain't working. So you saying wait? That's exactly why I brought up my driver's lack of aggressive driving skills because mm-hmm. it immediately brought me back to that nine one one doc I was watching, where if you just have a set way of thinking. You would die, nigga. Yeah. So I took a nap and woke up two hours later, and I'm asking in the and I'm, same spot. And I'm asking, yeah, I wake up in the same spot, and I'm asking homeboy. I say, yo, you can't get to the street. Like I see we a little ways from the exit, but I see a shoulder. Right. And yeah. I know we all the way to the left, but what's up? No, 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 no. I'm calling all my driver buddies. The street's just as bad, just as bad. Mm. Got it. I'm going to take a nap for another four. <laughs> <laughs> but eventually, we got to the got to the exit on the street, mm-hmm. cut around, was home in an hour. Wow. That 280 shit still wasn't moving. New York pay, I pay, way, and I never thought I would say this sentence in my life. Here it comes, here it comes, <laughs> I, here it comes. Republican Joe, Republican Joe. I, 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 I say it all the time. Get it off. But I'm white, so I say no, it all No, the no, time. no, no, hold on. Let me get it off as a black person. Go ahead. Get it off. I'm going to do it. Okay, get it off. You ready? I'm ready. I pay way too much in fucking taxes <laughs> to this. be sitting on fucking 280 for seven hours <laughs> over not even a foot, of, not even six inches of snow. That was crazy. Yeah, the news crazy. people was mad. They was cursing out the uh, the uh, commissioner of New York Transit or what? They up. was going ham yesterday. Everybody good. was stuck. Good. I knew something was wrong. I looked to my fucking right. I'm stuck with plows. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, it was crazy. It was crazy. <laughs> this, I'm I'm stuck with snow plows. The pickup power soup oh. trucks. They clean shit up. I thought salt you said- trucks. We all sitting there chilling. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yo, I, I thought you said you were stuck with Plows the rapper. <laughs> There's a Plows the rapper. Plows, Plows. How you pronounce his name? Plows. 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 plows are two different. Two <laughs> it sounded different. like Plows to me. Roy, different vowels. <laughs> I was like, wait, Saint he was in traffic. With no wonder St. Peter kicked this, kick this nigga out. <laughs> plows the rapper. No, not Plows. <laughs> plows thought maybe you mispronounced it. Yo, but I and still, he was in traffic. I still do not understand why it was so much traffic. That's crazy. I don't get. I still do not. Uh, no scenario will make like I because can't understand. Because they it. robbed our fucking tax dollars is what they did for fucking Amazon. And, and gave I it watched. To Amazon. The, <laughs> it's fucking. It's Amazon's fault. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it might be. I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm rolling with that. This is Amazon's fault somehow. You can't tell me. Now nah, I'm not rolling. Yeah. I'm not rolling. It's funny style. I feel like they tried to sabotage the Blasio. The sanitation department. I feel like they just was like, man, fuck that. We ain't put-. because the Blasio is no. It could be a hint of snow coming, and he will have the fucking yeah. salt trucks out the day before. He's like, one of like, like, yo, it's not even snow that hard. Like, I wish I was a kid when he was the this. mayor because he be canceling school all the time. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> yo, what the fuck? Like, I didn't, I do not understand what happened yesterday. Yo, I on the news, the and it, and I, I watched the news. I watched. The anchor ladies are so chipper and happy. Mm-hmm. They never mad and aggressive until this morning. <laughs> yeah. So they asking Shorty, yo, what happened? Mm-hmm. <laughs> For real, why was we all stuck? The lady <laughs> telling her, well, New York, New York had every, we had salt out and we had trucks out at the normal times. What happened was the overflow from the George Washington Bridge when I, when it was construction there and accidents there, it piled over and affected New York City in ways that they wouldn't have imagined on all major highways. <laughs> really, bitch? <laughs> Is that what happened? Did you that's, just that's say that? Right. You just said that on the news in the morning? Right. <laughs> so I'm shutting up, but 
Uh, listen, man. If that shit happened again, bro, uh, that shit was giving me anxiety, and I wasn't even in it. I was I'm looking s- out the window. I'm, I'm like, yo, what the fuck is going on? I was at home cooking dinner and all that shit. Like on Twitter, everybody's like, yo, we're still here. The fucking they said preserve gas and turn off your car. I'm like, yo, yo they shut crazy. down Port Authority. I hit, the whole thing. Yo, imagine if your car's about to run out of gas and that shit. Thing. I hit the state of the culture group chat at nine thirty. And said, I'm still an hour from home. I thought they was going to feel my pain and shit. Right. They hit back and said, we're snowed in the studio. Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. That's we got crazy. flights to catch. Wow. Yeah, I sent out the files to them. They're like, you made it home already? I'm like, yeah, I took the train. That shit was cool. Yo, how you snowed into a studio when it snowed an inch? Remy called me at, at 10. Like, my auntie, Re- Yo, did you make it home? <laughs> like, it was a thing. It was a thing yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. I still don't understand that shit. That shit was. I've never seen nothing like that before. The only time I've seen it like that might have been nine eleven. Mm. Like where just cars just could not move and everything was just shut down. Right, bro. Yeah. I do not understand how to. What the fuck happened yesterday? I do not understand what happened. I cannot understand that shit. Let's play with Amazon. Yeah. That shit it's is crazy, Amazon man. It's definitely fault, man. Amazon's fault, man. I don't know what the fuck <clears throat> Amazon is doing out there. Well, hopefully it's we got wild. snow coming next week, so. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Look, I love the snow when, I ain't, when I ain't trapped in that motherfucker. No, but now I just need to see what's going to happen now. Every time it's snow now, I'm like, listen, fam, I don't care if it's two two centimeters. I'm in the crib. Right. I'm not trying to get caught in none of that shit. Fuck Word. that. Okay, so the other night, Sin comes in the house while I'm dead tired. And she's playing some shit on her phone. And it's a girl rapping. And then... The girl stopped rapping, and then another girl started rapping. Then another girl started rapping, and then another girl started rapping. Finally, I'm like, yo, fam, what the fuck is on your phone? <laughs> she said, this is the Fashion Nova launch. This is Cardi's Fashion Nova launch. Mm. Was it a cypher? <laughs> no, it was Cardi's Fashion Nova line launch. But remember, they did a concert. Oh, that's right, yeah. With all of these different uh, groups and and female performers booked but everybody was at this party <laughs> mm. like i seem to be the only person that didn't really know well this was in la but i oh okay they this was a pretty big would deal. you have flown they out? spent they spent no 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 <laughs> but they spent some money <laughs> clearly well they if we're gonna get to the punchline they made fucking 10 million in three hours so they how do knew, we know that they knew they could spend that how do we know that because yeah, the headlines I, said it and headlines do not yeah, lie i'm Joe. not rolling with i just i'm tired of numbers just being thrown around yo Hey, but you know what? I'm though? definitely gonna see a Cardi breaks the streaming record with Fashion Nova. I'm gonna see. Listen, that. <laughs> and let me let me just say, I believe that. Mm-hmm. I do believe that she made that company ten million dollars in however many hours. I see what we make. <laughs> right. So I believe that she could do that with her right, following. Don't, don't get us robbed, Joe. <laughs> oh, I'm just saying our our selling power, and we're not yeah, yeah, that right. is all I'm saying. I'm not saying we got it like that. All Please right. don't rob. Yeah, Rory be out. I'd be home. Rob Rory. Rob, um, uh, Rob Bailey. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, damn what was my point I do believe that she made that but all of these all of these uh, outlets that don't report numbers anywhere for re- that just magically report numbers no I'm, not, I'm never gonna believe that mm-hmm. I'm, I don't believe that we get these numbers because Fashion Nova told us these numbers we get the title numbers because title tell us the fucking numbers we get these numbers because they tell us the fucking numbers Spotify doesn't lie about ours. The 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 Kardashians tell us the numbers. (laughs) Adidas tell us the numbers. No, Kanye ain't struggling with shoes. They just made more. Word numbers lie. Oh, oh, word. (laughs) (laughs) Nat, Nat, this is the one shoe, huh? (laughs) This is the one where they said, you know what? Unlimited. (laughs) Never mind. You can get it at Foot Locker. Yeah, take it. (laughs) Like, what is wrong with people? You niggas are stupid. But anyway, back to this. So yeah, Fashion Nova puts these numbers out. I do believe that Cardi can sell that. Mm -hmm. For Uh, sure. But I'm not with these companies self-reporting. <laughs> no. No. That, that's pretty corny. But so back to all of this shit happening on Sin's phone because, boy, what an epiphany for me. Because I am so disconnected. <laughs> mm-hmm. I am so out of touch with what's happening. So what's happening? <laughs> yeah, so well, tell us what happened. Let me tell, well, let me tell you what's happening. <laughs> if you're disconnected, what does that make us? Word. No, y'all are way more connected than me. No. Nah. No. All right, well, let's see. Okay. Because, unfortunately, hip-hop is in a strange place today where me, the former rapper, gets, like, real shit 
from my girl. <laughs> <laughs> See, and while that looks and sounds funny, I said a long time ago that Cardi was changing the world and that the next wave we was going to have to worry about. When I sit and watch this Fashion Nova shit and obsess over it, that's exactly what I see. Mm-hmm. So, let's test you guys. The City Girls. <laughs> know who they are. No, I, saw, they are. I you, saw the tweets. You know who they are. Rory, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Savon, do you know who they are? Erickson, do you? I'm not, I, I also think they're... Parks, a, do you? I'm aware of the name, but I'm not familiar. Maul, do you? Yes. On top of that, I so, think they're going to be very big. That's too. one for Maul, one for Maul and Rory, zero for Joe on the cool connected meter. <laughs> so I don't know who the city girls are. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Until I w- it was thoroughly explained to me that... <laughs> The City Girls are signed to QC. Mm -hmm. The City Girls rap about a lot of ratchet shit, Mm -hmm. scamming niggas. Mm -hmm. uh, They do it in a pretty good way. Bartering (laughs) pussy. Mm -hmm. Uh, A lot of real, a lot, a lot of trades. A lot, yeah, swap me pussy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot of real (laughs) ghetto shit, and a lot of the hood bitches fuck with them. They do it in a very confident way, and they got an album coming. I think it's Came, out today. And today. niggas is really, yeah, niggas is really fucking with the city girls. Girl, but the girl thing, code, a, go thing about it is uh, one of them got arrested. <laughs> for, for scamming. It's authentic. Love, for, yo, I for, love when rappers live their rhymes. Wait, yeah. I love it. Wait. She's living her rhymes out. Yeah. yeah. No, she, she's snitching on herself. Yeah. Didn't we just have that conversation up here? Yeah, but cool, did. but let me continue. So one of them is arrested for living out a rhyme for actually scamming niggas. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, great. So... Free the other one's about to perform, right? And she said, well, I don't know, because the other one don't really like performing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and that's when I said, you know what? <laughs> oh. I'm going to just shut up. <laughs> I, I don't know. But I, see, I, I, I don't know the vibes. See, <laughs> like, <laughs> somehow, some way, uh, every week, y'all prove me right about it being easier in this era. Nah, nah, don't take <laughs> it away from them. Yeah, they, that, they have talent. But to me, I'm they not, have talent. I'm not saying they don't, but listen to what Joe said. One of them is locked up for scamming, boom, boom, cool. Her, she clearly ain't really fucking with music like that. She'd rather bust a, bust a move. <laughs> the other one, I don't really feel, I don't really like performing. Like, <laughs> what is going on right now? Like, the entire internet is talking about you two, and y'all don't really, really fuck with music like that. So the City Girls. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, this is crazy. It is crazy. So the City Girls was booked at the Fashion Nova event. Well, right. the, City what, what they girl, they the Girl. The Girl. The City Girl. No, but every First time album, the interview, the, when the interviewers kept asking about them, no, they never acted like one of them was arrested. <laughs> they kept saying plural. <laughs> All right, y'all, City Girls coming up. It's like, Sin looked at me and said, Do they know that the other one's locked up? <laughs> but I'm like, I don't know shit. <laughs> what the fuck are you asking me? She's right. so She's cool. Phone in. So I felt very disconnected then, right? And mm-hmm. then this other girl came on stage and she started rapping. She was short. The songs were sta- sounding harder and harder as she continued to rap. <laughs> okay. Like to the point where now I have, all right, you got me. All right, I'm listening. <laughs> Since my girl got this shit on. You're committed now, yeah. Yeah, because stupid me. Sin coming in with all that shit in the phone. I'm talking, why don't you just hook your phone up to the television? Right. <laughs> right? So I'm committed now. So I say, uh, baby, who's this? And I don't want to be disrespectful because I don't remember any names. But she said, oh, this is Samarita. That's mm-hmm. Quavo's girl. This is Quavita. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Quavita. I said, Quavita. I said, wait a minute. Mm-hmm. Quavo has a girl mm-hmm. that's nice and raps too? Yeah. I said, so they got Quavo girl, the city girls, Offset girl. <laughs> Cardi B's event. Yo, yo, yo Q, QC new death row. Y'all don't, y'all don't. <laughs> so I'm still, y'all still not fucking with what I said about this era, right? All right, cool, never mind. Nah, QC just cornered the market. Then, uh, what self loving hip hop girl, the little short girl, Dream Doll, came out. Then there was another doll. Then in the back, there's a lot of dolls. Ba- a lot back, of dolls right now. Then backstage, <laughs> Iggy was fighting Aggie. I'm, what's the girl? <laughs> what's the girl name? Bad, bad, bad baby. That bitch bad, is Aggie. Bad Barbie. Boy, I, she is so aggravating. Every time she she pops up on the scene, she, she's upset. That bitch is like a Tasmanian devil. <laughs> 
Why she can't never come and chill? She's like 15. Not, but why? Yes, yeah, so why y'all inviting this bitch to the fucking vibe? Back to my to, point. To, to catch her outside. I'm trying to tell you, it don't matter as long y'all as y'all asked her to catch her outside. Following she went outside. on social Bad media. Bad Bobby is in there. And listen, I hate to cape for Iggy Azalea because I recently found out that I'm blocked by Iggy Azalea. She blocked you? Yeah. Damn, what you did, bro? I'm sure I said, I'm sure I said something. Um, you went to follow her? No, Rory, but get okay. the joke off. No, I was just asking. Get the shit off. <laughs> no, I just want to know. No, somebody, uh, somebody retweeted. You know, it was like they alluded to something funny being in what they tweeted. Uh, right. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, one of those. <laughs> so I clicked. I was like, ooh, I want to see. Mm-hmm. <laughs> can't, nope, see. can't see. Can't <laughs> see. Y'all ever been blocked by somebody that you can't see that you didn't know? Who They'd be it was? like, damn. Wait, but, what'd you say, Rory? Have you ever been blocked by somebody that you didn't know who it was? Absolutely. Yes. Like I'll go to do that and be like, you're blocked. I was like, I've never seen this name in my life. Never. <laughs> Never. Damn. I'm blocked by some some blogger dude. Uh, somebody like, like Joe said. Somebody oh, uh, retweeted something he said. Academics. <laughs> <laughs> no. Somebody retweeted Charlamagne. something he said, and I was like, I was like, what are they talking about? You, you just go to see what people are talking about. Right. Dude had me blocked. I was like, who the fuck is this? <laughs> never heard of this dude. Never went on his page. Whatever. Man. Iggy Iggy probably. And I hate niggas that always assume that they know why they're blocked. You don't know why you're blocked. <laughs> Like, well, been. sometimes you have an idea. <laughs> yeah, but you'll never, you don't know. For That's sure. just because you block everybody. You used to block everybody. I used everybody. to block a lot of people. But there was a time where Iggy Azalea was wilding on the internet. She and, might, and I, well, no, it might still she, be that time. No, when she was just <laughs> no, wilding, no, no, period. No, it wasn't th- the internet. I don't think she's wilding now. Like was she's, she wilding? I just saw her twerking yes. with chicken on her back, getting on a. F- See, I'm a jet like <laughs> two months ago. To me, that's, that sounds, that sounds a bucket of chicken on her, on her ass and no, was twerking. See, to me, that's not wild. That's just doing what some women choose to do on the internet. Like she was saying, like no, that's wild. Know, she was saying, <laughs> she was saying like racist shit at one point. Oh, for real? Yeah, they dug up her old tweets at one point. Uh, so that's why I wasn't fucking. She could twerk. She could have, like, have a yeah, blast. But putting fried chicken on your back, I can say that's racist. Did you see her? Yeah. Uh, no, no, she might like chicken. She look. Everybody likes chicken, Joe. But you well, put just, a bucket of chicken wings on your ass well, and twerk. Don't. What if, if it was like barbecue chicken? It'd be yeah, different. the white girls that love black dick like chicken, Mo. <laughs> everybody <laughs> likes chicken. I mean, everybody likes chicken. Is that a bad comparison? <laughs> no. But everyone does like you chicken. You like oxtail, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I see where you're going. An oxtail. Not oxtail. You like it. Yes. Yeah. Exactly my point. No, I'm not saying. <laughs> I'm just saying putting it on your Parks ass. Parks cooks and, collard greens. I'm just saying. <laughs> what, is, what, what do y'all want me to say right now? No, I'm just saying putting it on yeah, your we, ass we and pick twerking up before you get the on the environment. Where, like, if uh, you and Iggy Azalea pull up to KFC, she'll shock you with the order. Well, uh-huh. first of all, she'll order why are y'all like KFC? That's gross. That's nasty. It is kind of nasty. I'm judging you if you take me to KFC. Yeah, but he, but yeah, but he, what are white girls? So they might go to KFC. <laughs> <laughs> is that the voice? <laughs> yeah. Is that the order voice? Yeah. Word. yeah, let's do and that. And you know, more more runner ass. All right, which one? <laughs> <laughs> more the nigga to take her everywhere she want to go. Him, I, I don't see. think that's small. I'm gonna take Iggy everywhere she wants to go. Yes, <laughs> you probably would. Yes, it depends on what you take it to the clubhouse. He drove to Montreal twice. <laughs> <laughs> he drove to Montreal, realized yeah, he left, his, left his wallet home, <laughs> drove home, nigga, that's not and then happened. drove back, <laughs> and then drove back this to Montreal. That is man. what happened. The traffic happened, was light. Man. The traffic was light. It's not. What yeah, happened. it was late, so it was a quick drive. That's not what happened, man. <laughs> did you, did you guys see? Did you guys see Iggy's rollout? Her new little rollout from yesterday. Who? Iggy? Iggy's rollout. No. She said, yo, I'm done with my label. Fuck all that. And that was her big announcement that she was free now. Then the next day, she signed back with the label with the most bullshit deal I've ever heard. The same label? Yes. The exact same label. Okay. I could. It's, it was so stupid. Wait, it was like, yo, I could maybe put an album out if I want, but here's a $20 million advance. I own all my masters, and then I get to keep all the album sales. Like, it was some of the dumbest thing I'd ever seen. I was what? like, this is what you guys chose for your all rollout? The album sales. <laughs> She gets to keep, keep all, all the money. money. And like she, she yeah. maybe could do it. She owns her masters. I'm like, all right. We'll Iggy. give you 20 million. You yeah. keep everything. Keep everything. <laughs> put That's it what out it you like. want. I was like, Iggy, this is what we're supposed to believe. Come on, man. Stop it. Yeah, you look good, though. She do. She it's going to always come back to that. <laughs> yeah, she looks good, though. Looks good. Yo, but I never used to be on that. Mm. Like when I was accusing her of saying all the racist shit, I was off it. Mm. Like, no, I think she looks better now. She I don't definitely know what had she, some, some changes happened. Yeah. 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 She went and did something. But anyway, I didn't want to side with her, but fucking that, that little Aggie bitch, god damn that bitch is Aggie. <laughs> talk, talk to your Bad man Bobby. Kaiser. And the, I spoke the, to Is she signed to Atlantic? 
the other, that's the cover the, 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 the other side of Atlantic, not the Kaiser side. Everyone the that goes viral, she signs the other side. Yeah, no, side Kyle's okay. in that meeting. That, that, Kyle's in that the meeting. The vi- viral sure. label. No, she, Vi- yeah, viral yeah, she's on that Mike Karen <laughs> yeah. side of, yeah, of that. The viral one. records. That's what viral it is. Viral records. Why, like, why am I somebody inviting a fifteen-year-old chick to this to the event? Like, really? Because all you got to do is be popular. That's it. I keep trying Dog, to tell you. She was it. nominated for Female Rapper of the Year at the Billboard Awards. Like shit is what? crazy. Obviously, she's the label is running that girl to death. Oh wait, let me just take <laughs> this time. Shit, they pay for that. They pay for bucks. Could, wherever there's money. Oh yeah, Atlantic. I'll pay that. Wait, hold up. Let me hit the round of applause for Parks real quick. Fuck, I do now. Time Magazine. Parks was in Time. Time Magazine <laughs> has selected Cardi's album as album of the year. I'm no, not hanging ahead of, on Time of, Magazine. Of, <laughs> of number one Get album. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, first yeah. of all, Time, agree with me. time is the you think go-to you, you think you're gonna for lose, hip-hop news. You think you're going to lose his diggable planners card. It's cool. <laughs> they agreed. But Time isn't the one that I would be proud of them agreeing. First, Time is the hip-hop Bible. I don't know what the fuck y'all are talking about. <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't give a fuck who it was. Maul made it sound like it was just beyond the realm of reality. I saw a couple people tweeting. reality that. that it could be album of the year. I've seen a couple people tweeting the so time. So I'm just saying, I don't. I, I get it's time. We're not saying that that's fucking the holy grail. But Y'all not going to get me to sit here and talk bad about Cardi, because I like Cardi. But y'all not going to sit here and just act like we don't know what's going on. But wait, and that's the other thing. I don't think that it's a bad thing if somebody thinks that album is not album of the year. Like Me either, even the, the 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 premise of this conversation, like right, <laughs> it's a great conversation to be a part of. Like I said, you artist- don't think it's there? It's fine. It's artistic- not a diss. Artistic- no, no, no. It's not. No, no. It's not that. But it's it's because we come on. We all we're smarter than that. We we see what's going on. We know what's, we understand what's happening. Like it's just well, let me it's the you. machine. Me, I, I, well, no, well, no, we no, it. Just, it is the machine. But speaking is. of the machine, I think Cardi got one with them city girls. <laughs> Yeah, she's on the album. <laughs> no, that shit's hard. <laughs> CD girls are dope. Not like for my listening, but they're dope. See, <laughs> I told y'all when Rory start insta snapping the songs he listening to, he gonna come in here and tell y'all how dope City Girls is. Yeah, he, man. he was. Sna- I mean, we we just in that era though. We in that that ratchet. You know, if you can't if you can't twerk to it and all that, like you know, niggas don't really want to hear it. The women don't really want to hear. Nah, it. they're, they're so they so what QC did. They found two girls that can kind of. Match that Cardi energy, that Ratchet energy. Yeah, in a and, different way. And yeah. it's not like, it's not for us, but I get it. It's like Nas for the bartenders. Yeah. Like, it's speaking directly to, yeah, to them. the lifestyle. It's speaking to the lifestyle, what's going on in, you know, on that scene right now. And it's the soundtrack of what's going on in the club. So, Q- like, they Q- are fumbling C- for Instagram captions right now, these bartenders. With yeah. all the, but now <laughs> the, they got a whole the lyrical album venom that the city girls just gave them. <laughs> yeah. You know what's funny nowadays when I go in a strip club, like, and like, like I see all the new bartenders, and I'm wondering where the old bartenders is at. Like, Fashion they're rapping. Release. <laughs> oh shit! The old bartenders is all rapping and singing, and at the Fashion Over release. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what you think Bernice's sixteen would be? Right now? Yeah, right now. <laughs> oh, she gonna definitely give him some bossy chick vibes. She gonna yeah. get bossy chick her bossy chick bars off. You know, I would really like QC for women. Is- to stop starting the verses with bad bitch and then continue on. Why are you hating? Oh, yeah, <laughs> word. You, you're, not, you? you're not going to get rid of bad bitch. Come on, no, bro. Yeah, bro. Just find a new way to start a no, verse. No, 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 no. no. You I'll, you start I, a verse, I, I'll kill you before, yeah. I, before, <laughs> <laughs> before I want that to leave. Yeah, no, no, Rory, Rory's no, throw, the problem Throw it here. in the middle. Throw it at the end. Nah, like, why does it let you know off the top? Beat drop. Because they you know what it is. Like, nigga, you listening to a bad bitch. Yeah, because you know you listen different when the bitch is bad. Well, I don't particularly like that word, so... Me neither. So that's, that's true. That's why I don't want Me it. neither. I agree. Well, they like seem the, to love The young it, girls so. are listening. Yo, QC has a real monopoly going on. They're killing it. They are destroying. Yeah. <clears throat> it's deeper than rap. <laughs> like, it's much bigger than just Migos and Cardi. They're into fashion. They've got a monopoly on a certain sound, like a certain yeah. demo. Yeah. That's nuts. Got to salute it. <laughs> Well, I mean, that, you know, that's what happens when you have dudes that understand, you know, the business and what hustling is and going out there and making shit happen. I mean, there'll be some success somewhere. I mean, they they get what makes sense for their artists, like putting Yachty would not occur. And they know, yeah, they, they, like, they know they their know audience. Fits they know their, their artists. As they far know as who their brands target. Bullshit. They know who they're targeting. Shout out to QC. Do you think that? And this is going to be a wild question, especially for this New York-ass podcast to ask. Mm-hmm. 
Do you think that in order, do you think that to be an Atlanta rapper and pop or get some traction that you have to go through QC? In Atlanta? You should probably have some type of relationship with him. Well, that's what I mean. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think you have to go through them, though. No. Right. Well, no. As far as like, and, forget and about the term go I've through. I've seen them yeah. help other people in Atlanta that are not signed to them, which is an that Atlanta period. thing. Atlanta does that, period. Yeah. That's why Atlanta wins because Atlanta supports and helps Atlanta. Yeah, they seem to fuck with each now, other. A now, lot granted, if QC was from New York, yeah, you might have to go through QC if you want to make it as a New York rapper. Why do you say that? Because we're not supportive. Oh. <laughs> I'm still standing by. You have to go through QC to get gain traction. Like I'm, I'm no. not leaving that. From Atlanta, if you're an artist from Atlanta, I, or in the general, f- from out there. Mm. I don't know. Where does Gucci fall in that? Uh, uh, well, he kind of helped put Gucci Migos is, on his cool. Gucci is QC. Well, no, uh, that's a, Lil Baby uh, and Gunna. They're they're not signed to QC, and they're, they're doing really well. Who are they signed to again? I'm they're signed not sure. to somebody. Baby is QC. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Is he really? That, yeah. that, yeah. <laughs> baby Wait, they is have Q- little baby and yes. Gunna yeah. too? That's yeah. what I'm telling you. They have a monopoly on yeah. a sound. <laughs> yeah, it was, we got to get them niggas their flowers. For sure. That's a fact. No, they definitely working. They doing no a lot. No, no, no doubt about that. Last couple of years, they, they right up there. They working. They probably and number one, really. And again, it all goes back to Gucci at the end of the day. <laughs> yeah, you got to salute Gucci. Uh, yeah, that's been our problem. New York has never had a Gucci, man. Hmm. Now, what do you mean when you say that? After I'm not going to debate it. No, no, it's fine. Um, after our reign in like the early 2000s, we never had. We were too arrogant. That's a fact. Yeah. Two separate two. We never had that elder that was still hot, but only focused on the kids. I could make a case that a lot of this had to do with 50 in New York. Well, a lot of people make that case. Yeah, yeah. Like 50 I make that in New case York too. It may sound a little nuts, but you know I think that could have could have been Max B. I think Max B could have been our Gucci. I see, I, I, I see where you're going with that. He was definitely forward thinking with the new sound. I think he would have fucked with all the new kids if his career panned out. I think he would have been a lot higher outside of New York. Mm. Like I think Max B could have been our Gucci. Yeah, I dwell on hip hop way too much. Like when he says that, like if there were never a dip remember when Marvel used to do what if comics I do that a lot with hip hop mm-hmm. if there yeah. were never a dip set uh, Max B beef mm-hmm. then there's never yeah. a French dip set beef or French Jimmy beef mm-hmm. and then Jimmy then, then French is pun to Jimmy's fat Joe mm-hmm. cause they're cool today right and then that does something real different with, because French is tight with Drake. Dipset is tight with Wayne. Right. I think it just changes the course of how certain things play out in New York. That's only my brain. I can't prove that at all. No, that's an interesting point. But the, the internal turmoils of yeah. Dipset. And especially at that point, Dipset, like after the Rockefeller shit and Rough Riders and everything kind of dying down, Dipset led it for New York. For sure. So when they start beefing with the new New York shit, there's nothing we can do. Hmm. So then I tie that to Cam and Jay's beef. Because if they never beefed. Mm. Yep. And if there was if if things were harmonious underneath the Rockefeller imprint. Because Rockefeller. And then add in true life to that. Because that's what. To Rock, add more that's steam what to the se- fire. Yeah. Because it seemed like that's what, now that we're talking about it, it seemed like that's what Dane was trying to do. Mm-hmm. That is what Dame was trying to do. That's exactly what Dame when was Dame was beefing with Hove, Dame went to every New York nigga that ever had a spark. He went to Mob Deep. Mm. He went to MOP. Yep. He came to me. ODB. He went to ODB. Yep. Yep. Like he was trying to do that then, mm-hmm. but Jay was big, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and yeah. Jay is powerful. And that's why, like, Jay couldn't be the Gucci because he was. Far removed from being out in the street, seeing who was young. I used to, I used to I used to knock Hove for just how he went about some of that, but today you see it. Hove you wasn't going to be the Gucci man. It, no, no, <laughs> that, wasn't, that wasn't his and, idea. And, like, and if I'm Hove, yeah, I'm beefing too. You bringing all these niggas around, man. Like, well, it was yeah. <laughs> it that's was, also it, a fact. I, I, that me, 
I beef with you niggas about bringing certain niggas around. <laughs> but I'm, they might, if I'm whole, I'm dead. Yo, monopoly. fam, what are you doing, man? What are you killing? <laughs> yeah, we don't need all of this. You doing a lot, my nigga. Yeah, yeah. But interesting point, Rory, that we never had that's, a Gucci man. That's what I've always thought. Or Khaled. See, New York arrogance and self centeredness. When I say Khaled, I think of Clue and Flex. Because mm. y'all shoulda. Right. Mm-hmm. Y'all should have. Y'all been in that spot for that long, and y'all were too connected and too respected to not do well, that. Well, Clue did it, kinda. Yeah, but they stopped. Oh, so did Flex, please. but they stopped. Yeah. Clue's yeah. album was a Khaled the album. First, yeah, it was dope. The professional, was the great. first one was a dope album. Hell yeah. Love that album. Khaled albums really are Clue tapes, actually. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly just just with more money behind them. Yeah, they're, well, com- but, they're commercial clue tapes. But, clue, exactly but the, the, the clue tape was probably the first. I gotta think about that. It was probably yeah. It was probably the first like professional mixtape that was. became an album. You know what I'm saying? The way was. Drama yeah. did Gangsta Grills the album. I mean, like, yeah, Flex, Clues was the first. Nah, but Flex had the uh, 60 minutes of funk, but it was different. It wasn't. Like, he had a bunch of shit, thing. but it was yeah. never like Clue a, was the first one. Yeah. yeah, Clue was the first. Yeah, Flex didn't really have original. It was freestyles for the most part, if not entirely. Yeah, so it was a little bit different. But that's still, you know, you got to give him his props. But that 50, that 50 and Ja beef totally dismantled New York. That was like the nuclear bomb on the city. You think so? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you had people dissing Ja that uh, had nothing to do with that beef. Like, I think even Buster started dissing Ja at one point. <laughs> well, that's why, you know what? Like, a bunch of niggas just started coming out of nowhere just fucking Ja up. I'm like, what is happening right now? I didn't know so many people had issues with each other within the city. Like, I didn't, I just didn't understand it. Well, yeah, then 50 really tried to fuck up the whole thing when Ja, Fat Joe, and, and Kiss. And here's the crazy that, shit about that all of that. 50 started making music like Ja. Like, that everything was his 50 plan. was, that was dissing, his plan from Rick. Everything he was dissing Ja for doing, 50 didn't turn around and started making those type of records. Y'all, he didn't really y'all, turn around. He did it on the mixtapes. He was singing on all them shits. Y'all, right. y'all 50 and Ja conversation, and again, my brain is warped. See, I was thinking about that earlier. That 50 jaw conversation somehow brings me to Offset and Cardi. Okay. It does. How so? Yeah, yeah please divulge. Because we needed Ja. Absolutely. We needed Word. we needed him. We I I feel that way. I feel like we really needed him. And the nigga that took him out was like Shaq. He was Shaq dominant. Mm-hmm. Yes. Like 50 came out and we I never saw nothing like that. So great. Now our our hardest hottest act in New York who is killing shit along with his crew G unit. Everything y'all touch is gold. So when they were divisive, it was different. It wasn't just no if you want to fuck with us, you can't fuck with y'all, you beefing with us. It was you fucking with Kiss, you beefing with us. You fucking with uh, Fat Joe, you beefing with us. You fucking with Game, you beefing with us. You fucking with... Mm-hmm. It was a and, bunch of those And niggas. in some senses, we just beefing with you. So I... so I <laughs> took, There's not even a reason. So I take that as a real monumental moment in New York because, damn, it was the hottest niggas in New York, but y'all wasn't really New York because y'all divided New York. Like, y'all were... Y'all belonged to the... To the everywhere else, to the world, yeah, yeah, y'all with the world. So Cardi now <laughs> is on. It looks like that type of energy today. Where if I have to think of a New York artist so who Cardi seems to be into a really, really, really long run, let me just walk you through my warped brain. Cardi is that. So the same way I feel like Hove saw something in, in B early in the game, <laughs> like of course he was a superstar and great. Mm-hmm. Right. Hove seen something different. That's genius eye. Me thinking of how QC is so dominant, I'm forced to believe that Offset seen some seen just seen something. And now the hottest rapper in New York, in my opinion, mm-hmm. is a QC Atlanta act. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, the similar shit happened with Nicki as well. Mm-hmm. Like Nikki is New York through and through. I'll never take that from her. But she couldn't get a deal here the same way with 50. That's why I can't be mad at 50. Everyone blackballed them in New York. You couldn't get a deal here. You had to go somewhere else. So I can't be mad that Nikki went down that's to Atlanta not, and signed with but Young Money. That is not true. 
That may be true for Nikki. That's not true for Fifty. Yeah, lot, it's more true for Fifty, I think. <laughs> nah, a lot it's of people not, in New York. That's a misconception. No, 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 no. I mean, blackballed industry wise, not what the fans liked. He was black. How to rob Fifty was blackballed by Wangsta. Everybody wanted. I'm talking about mixtape Wangsta, right? Not shady. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, eight mile. Yeah. I know what you're saying. Right. By Wangsta. Every label had a contract offer in front of 50 Cent. I'm sure. aware, but he still probably had a stigma at that point. That's like pumping and, up Joe being blackballed, and today that's still affecting me. Like, no, we rocking today. <laughs> like, right, right. Yeah, I was blackballed then. Mm-hmm. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't see it like that. Right. Yeah, but I, I still think he had some salt in his mouth with that entire thing. Like, y'all was playing me, now y'all want me. M and Dre have been in my corner <laughs> when people didn't want me. So fuck y'all. I'm going to go with them. And I think Nikki was the same case. She went down to Atlanta and signed with a, a Southern label. 50 went and signed with the West Coast shit. Like, when you're not being supported, fuck out of here. I totally understand why you left New York to do that. And I can't be mad at you. That's so you're not going to have that New York camaraderie because you're not on that label. You're not on some shit. Fuck y'all. Well, I mean, too, when when 50 was... Even though 50 had his offerings and, you know, he was one of the, probably the hottest act in the game. But at that time, who, what were the labels in New York? There was Murder, Inc., who clearly nothing was happening there. Rockefeller. Leor was still Def trying Jam. to get him a deal. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. But I think I at think that, that point. that beef was the only reason why he purposely avoided New York. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Because Preem and them was still in New York. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's just funny when when you think about all this shit and if shit, shit just took place, would yeah. another way. Yeah. yeah. What if? Yeah, it's very interesting. So some more what if. Let's talk about Takashi for a little bit. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's kind of a what is. I don't I don't know that because that's where we are in hip hop today. Let me not just say it like it's only today. When Gravy got shot in front of Hot ninety seven, when the game shoot, I didn't know where we were then either. So it's not just <laughs> it's not just today. Right. <laughs> I don't know what to ever believe when it comes to Takashi Six Nine. It's hard. It's hard to de- de- um, decipher. I, and I'm not trying to be funny. Mm-hmm. I just don't ever know because well, that's what happens when he's you know, good. That, that kid, kid is good. He's a showman. Yeah, he trolls he as much as he does. You don't. You don't know what to believe anymore. He's past the troll now. I can't call him a troll. That kid is a showman. So the <laughs> other day that the, the police TMZ reported that somebody got arrested from that that old kidnapping that. You know, I didn't know whether to believe it then. And then I was like, let me see if the cops catch somebody. And they didn't catch anybody, so I didn't know what to believe. And now they caught somebody in his camp, so I still don't know what to believe. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Like, you can orchestrate that. The Breakfast Club interview. Uh, you can orchestrate that. I'm still only getting words from you, so I don't know what to believe. Now, on the flip side of that, if I'm watching what's occurring... It's everything that I thought would occur, everything that I said would occur. I've been in this situation. <laughs> many, many young rappers have been in this situation where you uh, are signed to some killers. <laughs> You're just right. signed to some niggas. Right. It's a different world. Yeah. Uh, you, you move and think differently. Um. And normally, you're not getting what you should be getting, normally. Mm. So I kind of thought that the day would come where, as a young nigga getting a whole lot of money, you realize, hey, some money, something's missing, something's funny here. Then you want to separate yourself. Then you, have to, then you have to go about the business of figuring out how to separate yourself. And that's very difficult when you've been traveling with people for a certain amount of years and they know your thinking, they know how you move, they know everything. Yeah. So then it comes to, so now Takashi is saying he has canceled all everything mm-hmm. and everybody's fired, which sounds like a really small deed. But because of all the shit that you've caused, it's expensive for you to move. See, that's where, that's where there are some similarities between you and megastars. Mm-hmm. It's very expensive for megastars to move around. Everywhere Takashi goes, it's it's expensive. You you so all that internet trolling shit is cool, but when you're doing it, I'm counting the security guards. I'm counting the hours that they are with you. Right, like yeah. it's a lot of money. It is. Yeah, but I mean, it's it's, it's a catch twenty two. You can't win for losing because that's what made them hot. 
Granted, the music kept him hot, but that's what made him hot was that trolling shit, and because of it, you need the security. Rory, you talking to somebody that was steaming hot a long, many, many, many years ago. When you steaming hot, at, at some point, you'll feel like you need those killers. Like, you, oh, no, you I'm need not. that security. But I hold think up. that's a totally different point than what I'm saying. No, no, I know. I'm, I'm just letting you know that you're talking to somebody who was steaming hot and went bankrupt twice. <laughs> trying to pay for fucking with that yeah. that group and i again didn't see the amount of success mm-hmm. that that kid is seeing in the moment right. so when he's on the breakfast club saying damn i did want to repair my i did want to repair my image so i figured i'd take the short i do the three hundred thousand dollar concert and then i find out it was it's 3.8 million and i'm like whoa many artists have had that moment <laughs> so even though this kid is a magician and I don't know what to believe, I believe that right. because we all have gone through that. Yeah, mm-hmm. certainly seen it. I never thought that this kid was uh, had the intellect level to be able to avoid these pitfalls that all of us experience. Is what mm-hmm. I'm saying. Yeah. Or even if he did, you get caught in the moment and you're just trying to. Man, and, 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 some, and sometimes you just can't get out of them, even if you see it. Right here, he around niggas. Here, he, he around niggas that clearly is. Well, he's engulfed in something that with with niggas that's letting it loose. <laughs> mm-hmm. I just have to keep saying that because it's a different set of rules. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, it's not regular music business. So, so I'm worried. Yeah, like I'm I'm worried. Like something is wrong when. You know, and again, we're desensitized because of this trolling and the era that we're in. But they've been shooting at him in random places for the past however many months. Mm-hmm. Been, they, they shot at him on Madison Ave. It were. <laughs> daytime. As someone who's been robbed and had guns on him in the day, guns pulled on him in the daytime. Like anytime it's happened, I thought to myself, damn, it's the daytime. This nigga might really, like, it's a precinct around the corner. He might really be about that. Right. Yeah, <laughs> if they don't give a fuck this It's much. different. I'm just saying it's a little different is all I'm saying. Right. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Some yeah. of this stuff, when I'm watching it, I'm like, I pray for him because I want him alive yeah. and I want him well. And I know the spot he's in. It's a difficult spot. So the, so the other week, other week it was reported that he was in a restaurant eating with some niggas. And I spoke on this here. He was in a restaurant in New York eating with uh, some niggas and some niggas tried to get in that restaurant. Security stopped them from getting in. The niggas left, came back and started letting off shots. Mm-hmm. There was a big shootout. It, that was the nighttime. It wasn't the daytime. That's when his, mm-hmm. one of his bodyguards got hit in the stomach. Yeah. yeah that was that one. So then a few, a few days after that, it was reported. And again, whether you choose to believe these reports, because today none of our news, our hip hop news outlets are so substantiated. <laughs> Shit, even our political news. Yeah, none, of, none all, of it. Of none news. of it. Like you believe what you believe. A few days later, it was reported, and I paid a lot of attention to this because it was very telling. That it was Shoddy that came to the restaurant, attempted to get in, couldn't get in. Uh, whilst while homeboy was in there with such and such Grange. Very important universal person that named Grange, Lucian Grange. This was another Grange. This was the connected Takashi shit. I've been saying this for a little while. That kid's connected. Mm-hmm. So the report came out that he was in there with another Grange. Shotty tried to get in, couldn't get in. He came back, did whatever he had to do. That said to me, whoa, wait a second. There's much more than meets the eye here. Mm-hmm. There's a disconnect between him and Shotty? Like from weeks ago that they already displaying, it's already manifesting and we don't know about it. Then Shadi had to turn himself in. That's why I don't know what to believe because between Takashi's case and Shadi's case, it might behoove them both to come public and say, I don't fuck with niggas. Mm -hmm. So don't take nothing I'm saying as concrete, please. (laughs) I don't know nothing. Right. I don't know a thing, and some of y'all that listen to this podcast often know. Rule my one of my uh, my only rule probably here is to not really go in depth on street shit. <laughs> yeah. Right. 
That's my only rule. So I don't know, and I haven't been trying to find out. I'm only <laughs> reading things in pass in passing. Right. I don't not inquiring. I'm cool, people. my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> no, I feel you. Yeah, certain shit you just don't. You know. I don't, yeah. That's their business. Uh, I live by a code. More will be revealed. Yeah. So in time, we'll see what's going on. Right. Uh, but it but it certainly reminded me of a dark time. Like that's. That's a dark time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I mean, his realization when he said on the interview, no one can touch me except for the people around me. me That's the only way. Me, Dylan Heiss, lived in the whole, that, what they changed the name of that hotel now. It might be a double tree now. Whatever hotel that is in, in Fort Lee, we lived there probably for nine months just because of some shit that I had going on in the streets. Shit. Mm. Let me repeat that. We lived in a hotel for nine months. That's not cheap. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Gotta do what you gotta do. Like, when circumstances are excruciating, you gotta do excruciating shit. So when this kid is on, when this, so when this kid is on the Breakfast Club interview saying, yo, the promoter said, yo, I got his mom's address, send some niggas over there, like, Again, I don't know I don't know what to believe from him, but I can see a scenario where it's true. That's happening. Yeah. Easy. Right. Easy money. Yeah. Easy money. Right. Easy money. Especially artists like himself. Yeah. And we've been said a long time ago that see the thing all of this shit is cute when you're producing. Mm-hmm. And you gotta continue to produce. Yeah, because once that falls off. So people like this kid. This kid has a good energy. He's charming. He's done some fuck shit, but but he's lo- a lovable kid. Uh, I don't know how lovable he will be if he is no longer producing. The antics wear off. Of yeah. course. And then, like I said about eight months ago, whenever that triple X shit was going on, damn it, niggas like you now. So, like, don't die. Right. Don't die now. <laughs> right. Or, or anytime soon. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, well, I mean, Takashi's in my prayers. His album is next Friday. Shadi so. is in my prayers. All of we'll, these we'll, niggas. We'll I'm praying for produce. everybody. For sure. Yeah. For sure. I'm praying for everybody. It's, it's way too much money at stake. It's way too much on the line for our decision making to not be pristine. Like, we got to be our best selves at all at all times, the wrong decision in a millisecond is greater than you. It, it costs not only you. Mm. Uh, I'm going to say that and I'm going to move on because I don't want to get embroiled in any of that shit. <laughs> I know something going on. Ak ain't even been seen next to Takashi. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I'm. it sounds funny. These are small things that I pay attention to. Right. Because when the label is involved... Ack is involved. <laughs> when the label is paying for, for Ack to be there 24-7 to document because Ack is hot and is a, re, is a tool and a resource, the label's involved. When I don't see Ack around, <laughs> when Ack ain't reporting, when Ack don't have the scoop, when Ack just reporting it like anybody else, the scoop. label ain't around. <laughs> or the label ain't paying him. He ain't he ain't talking to him. He ain't talking to Shotty. He ain't hanging out. Oh, it's real. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Very. No real. more shenanigans, nigga. Now, now you niggas ain't in the mall running around. I fucking bet. Hmm. That's how this goes in hip hop. <laughs> yeah, hip hop is great, man. Gotta love it. Hip hop is great. Gotta like for it. as much as I laugh at myself for being comfortable around niggas with guns, I certainly laugh at niggas that's uncomfortable around niggas with guns. <laughs> Gotta love it. <laughs> Only in hip hop. As, as as nerdy as hip hop has been and is becoming, streets still it's, run that shit. <laughs> yeah, it's still dangerous out there. Yeah. Oh sure. no, it definitely is. I'm just saying it's how dang, it's still danger in hip hop for sure. The Man, artists have changed. Hey. The streets still control everything. Mm-hmm. Hey. That 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 that's even growing with the day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for sure. Hey, internet niggas. Streets is around. <laughs> yeah. That's a fact. They they around. They just not necessarily the ones rapping anymore. Yeah, they mm-hmm. hey, 
they not really, we don't know how street niggas move now. Street niggas have adapted as well. Remember when you used to try to explain the internet to a street nigga? They know now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they and know. they on there and you wouldn't know. They, 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 they know. They're posting normally. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you wouldn't know. They learn how to just do it. You would have it. no idea. Right. They posting their eggs and bacon. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fact. Just Word. breakfast. Yeah, they with right. their daughter. Regular, yes, regular <laughs> right. caption. Right. You saucy in the comments of a killer. <laughs> <laughs> Of a killer <laughs> Certified Hey The whole hood No mm-hmm. <laughs> He let it loose He <laughs> in the cop Oh nigga You a fag yeah. They always say something That's crazy You yeah. fat Nigga <laughs> yeah, I know Okay Right <laughs> I know. Good to know. I was talking to Remy. Remy see, and that's why, I, I, boy, I love talking to Auntie Remy. <laughs> I was talking to Remy because Remy is so much more street than me. <laughs> like, so I said, yeah, man, I'm shooting at Takashi, man. I really hope that kid is okay. See, how, how you know they're shooting at him? See, street niggas will always think different. <laughs> yeah. I said, Remy, what are you talking about? Like, yeah, it was reported. They're shooting at him. They've been shooting at him. What the fuck are you talking about? Said, uh, well, Kanye and Nikki have been saying shit for the past however many months. So, how do you know who they were shooting at? Hmm. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think that, but I ain't street. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah. She but went on it. Bullet, gotta, bullet, 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 bullets ain't got no names. Kanye been saying stupid shit for a year. Nikki been saying shit to niggas. Listen, if I'm somebody that wanted to do something. That is the time I'm doing it. So why everybody keeps saying somebody shooting at Takashi? Bullets ain't got a name. Yeah. Somebody shooting. That's all you know. It's somebody shooting. Well, you're right. <laughs> or not necessarily the rapper, but the people that are around. I, I, I assume that it's for Takashi, but maybe you're right. You got a point. Mm-hmm. Uh, he, did, he did mention in that uh, interview that it was Nikki's dressing room. It wasn't his. No, it was his. Uh, and then it got switched, and that's oh, how okay. Nikki ended up in gotcha. there. Okay, it okay, was okay. originally his. It's supposed to be his. All right, got you. Um, listen, prayers up for everybody, man. Word. You niggas stay safe out there, cause just stay safe. Stay yeah. safe and stay smart. More importantly, yeah, like, yeah. Be smart, man. This is this is supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be everybody getting a lot well, of. I'm money. not even mad if you niggas want to be stupid, but this should be like a smart stupid. <laughs> no, but you should Don't be get smart hurt. when you, yeah, like when you in this game where you everybody a, ain't like, smart. No, I'm not. Everybody I, I'm, isn't I, smart. But I I'm bet, saying I, you I, should. I, we got, you we should, can't. That can't be an indictment. No, 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 it's pe- not. But I'm just saying when you're in this in this industry and you understand what's at risk and what's the reward if you just move a certain way. I mean, just make smart decisions. Like it will be in your best interest. Like, dog, you can make a lot of money. You can do a lot of great things and live just a peaceful life. And and live a peaceful life. Just don't be stupid. Right. Period. These are like just life shit that you should just move through <laughs> life with. Like, fuck the industry. Like, you should just move through life being, just make smart decisions. Man. I thank God every morning that that somehow we're impactful in this moment in hip hop where people are being paid. Yeah. That's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Y'all don't have a thing about it? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's and, and these, these niggas is getting it today. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure, it's different money. It's different money today. And listen, when I signed my record deal, the saying was a hit record feed a million families. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> it's yeah, that's, way different. It's the today. era where it's not just t-shirts and liquor. You can get money elsewhere mm-hmm. if you want to be in hip hop, and if you move smart. That's a nice little quote, uh, Rory. It's not just t-shirts and liquor. If you do know all the different ways to gain uh, revenue streams, that's a really great quote. It's not just t-shirts and liquor. Not anymore. And even t-shirts and liquor, were, not long ago, were a, a new yeah. thing. You Absolutely. know what I'm saying? Like It wasn't long ago that that was foreign. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like Jay-Z's doing what? Right. <laughs> He's selling S. Carters with Reebok? Right. He's making vodka? Yeah. You got to really salute Hov and Puff, man. <laughs> no, you have to talk, man. For sure. You can say we're on their dick. That's fine. No, they've cool. been saluted. Why well, am on their dick? That's what's cool. Okay. <laughs> they've been saluted. I see that a few times. Yo, y'all on Hov dick. Anytime uh, they say, anytime like, yo, y'all have this Hov bias, I was like, I think we've admitted it. Yeah. 
Why don't you? <laughs> yeah. Why don't you have whole bias? Anybody that is from the inner cities, that is from the communities that we're from in the neighborhoods, you it, it's impossible for you not to look at Jay and not to look at Puff and not salute them and where they are in their lives today. That's why I'm going to exactly dig. That's why I'm, 2019, <laughs> like, I'm digging into my true crime bag. You can't. You I'm, can't. It's impossible. I'm, like, I'm going to merge hip hop and true crime because it's understated. Again, I was talking to Remy about this. It's understated the amount of killers that are still in hip hop, number one. Mm-hmm. And allegedly. Number, and number two, allegedly, of course. And number two, the amount of hip hop that stems from killers. Mm hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Somebody Shit. has to start pointing <laughs> this stuff. All out. of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you talking about Hove and I, I don't know, but I assume there'd be a whole lot of Hove Brooklyn shit like he was really there. Absol- absolutely. We talking about Puff that absolutely. brings me to the Harlem shit when niggas was really there. I don't think people know their like, history, the timelines of some of this stuff, and who some of these people were around. Mm-hmm. Fifty, like just. I think it should be highlighted. <laughs> yeah, Irv God. Because when Irv, yeah, like serious shit, serious shit. Yeah, it's not like that's a that's like, a yeah, it's a movie. So, so yeah. you, I, I do salute people that come from those circumstances and you know change run, the world, run five hundred million dollar empires. Like, yes, I will always salute that. Yeah, you can call like me whatever you want. I, I'm I hate to be them. the one that shits on the kids for shitting on the older guys. Like, dog, you doing this because of them? Like, I know Absolutely. you don't directly know that, right? But Yachty, you're doing a Nautica deal because Hove did a Reebok deal, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. They don't understand that. They don't understand that. So, I, if you don't know about it, that's fine. I could never tell you. You know, how do you not know about this? That's that's your story, whatever. But don't shit on it. <laughs> yeah, right. no. No. And not to say Yachty did, but that's just an example. Yeah, no, right. I know. No, I love when Drake fucking, Drake is selling out all these arenas when he does it. I think of how big of a deal it was. I've said it before on here. When Hov sold out the garden for the first time. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. That was a moment in hip hop. Or just the rock the mic shit when they didn't have to have an R&B act. Shit, yeah. Like you, it was just all hip hop. Can you imagine what it was like for Run DMC? Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like that was an era where people didn't even take hip hop at all serious. seriously. Yeah. Yeah. Like you got to salute them too. Absolutely. It's just certain people that will always, you just always have to just, no matter what, where you're from, yeah. salute, man. For sure. I will always salute yeah, Dr. Let's, Dre. Let's not just make For it sure. New York. Yeah. Rap a lot. Yeah. Cash money. For no sure. limit. Like, they're all there, uh, yeah, too. I, it's sure. certain certain movements that you just have to look at and be like, Death yo, row, dog, They no, did that. <laughs> no limit. Like, Master P, I will always salute Master Absolutely. P. Absolutely. Like, you know, I mean, he doesn't have to put out another record ever in life. Right. Do anything. If I see him. Absolutely. Salute. You have to, man. Like, well, I, that's why. Listen, the the Solange album when when Pete when Master P was every interlude, boy, it felt good. It felt really good. And now today, when I look at QC, uh, quality control and what what they're doing, that's from the Master P. <laughs> that's from the Master P handbook. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So you gotta. It's a great gotta, name, by the way. Quality control. Quality control, control for sure. Yeah, and then there's the Coach K quote that's running around talking about, yeah, I'm all about uh, uh, market market control, control of the market. Mm-hmm. He's doing it. <laughs> it's working, Coach. Big time. <laughs> yeah. Boy, that shit's impressive, <laughs> bro. I mean, when you're a hustler, though, you know, you're going to find a way to make the most out of your circumstances and your opportunities. You don't view Cardi like that? Like I know a lot of times, like a and, and that's I, exactly and I, how I, view I bring it up because remember we was talking about, and she, they getting a lot of flack for that Netflix, the judges, whatever the fuck they had going on with that 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 show. Are they? They getting a lot of flack. Really? Mm-hmm. A lot of flack because Netflix like, is, or the the artists are. Well, isn't that the same thing? No, not necessarily. Like it's the no, it's the same. It's it's the same thing. The whole encompassing. The artists show. are getting the flack. The artists oh, are only picked? together because of the Netflix show. So the show was getting this. this. Well, I was just wondering if, if Netflix was getting the, the flack for picking the people that they picked or if the artists were getting flack for being on a show of the, that nature. No, not the artists are getting flack for being on a show on that nature. Okay. Netflix is getting flack for picking those judges. Oh. But Cardi's role is more like the hustler role to me. I mean, that's what brought me here when we was talking about the hustler oh, shit. Cardi's well, the ultimate hustler. That's exactly for sure. She's, I mean, I know where she came from. I know where, you know, her story, how it went. Like, I... I salute her too. Like, hear, hear me out here. 
Hove and Cardi are alike in that sense that they were doing something else. They didn't necessarily no, want to be rappers. No <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> they didn't necessarily want to be rappers, but if that's what's going to pay and change whatever the life I'm doing over here that I don't like, mm-hmm. yeah, fuck it, I'll do that. Yeah. Hove said he was putting out one album. I didn't want to be a rapper. Yeah. And right. it worked. <laughs> right. and so he kept doing it. Because He's just that's a hustler. What, exactly. When you're a hustler and something works, you got to keep, keep, keep working. working. Yeah. You keep working it. And Absolutely. then along that, it, within that, you figure out something else that will work. Yeah. And then you start to look at things differently. Then you start to be able to look at the whole landscape of the market and know what's coming next. Yeah. That's a big thing for uh, upcoming artists. When I have conversations with them, they're like, what do I need to do? It's like, do a bunch of different shit and start finding some shit that Try works. shit. Yeah, like, Try shit. Sometimes being the artist is not necessarily what's going to work for you. Sometimes right. it might be becoming an A&R or right. producer, an executive mm-hmm. producer. Like, right. Well, that was a part of my retirement when my business accountant started talking about uh, music real estate and how to be a millionaire, you often need X amount of revenue streams. Mm-hmm. And when he said that to me, broke as I was, I was like, damn, and rap, they only let you get but so many. Right. Like, you have to do a, a little piece a lot. of that. You have many. to do a lot more. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a fact. <laughs> to be okay. Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. fuck this. <laughs> right. 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 Um, so here we go. A bitch never had a fucking hand. Fuck out of here. And that's why I say it. A lot of people yesterday when I say, oh, everybody be trying to come out my throat because people want to say that I don't write most of, a lot of my shit. And I write a lot of my shit. That's the funny shit. Cardi. Cardi. No, you don't. I don't know that. Me neither. But no, she don't. <laughs> <laughs> Who believes that? Who cares? Define a lot. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, listen. She does. No, but listen. She I'm does. Saying, a she lot does. of people seem to care. I, she I don't give a fuck. About mean, writing? Yeah. No, no about her. Who. As it pertains depends to her. Who. Yeah. As it pertains to her. But, you know, she, I think she, because she, I think she feels like she's getting Because Nikki keeps saying that shit. And she, and she like, gets flagged for the judge shit. Let yeah, me not put that, Nikki in and that. And she feels like she's not getting no credit for anything that she's doing. Like, she doesn't, she feels like she's not getting any credit for the success that she's having. She feels like people look at her like, Oh well, you're just a doll that they put here, and then they tell them do this, do that, do this, and you're just doing it, and but you're not really creative. Right. So I understand what she's saying, but <laughs> more importantly, she says something like, "She said, how hard is it to write? You just got to think." Oh and yeah, I, and I said to myself, "That's not how it goes," because I know a lot of artists yeah. that write. When she said that, it to, let to me know that she's album, not writing. To yeah. make your album, right. no. Right. Yeah. When you said that's when, hard. Your album was hard to make. Yeah. One, once she said that. It let me know exactly how much she's not writing, mm. which again I don't care about. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. I'm I'm not looking for that from you. Right. But you, I, you I, perform I, those rhymes the best out of anyone well. who was ever writing them shits. Right. I only want to hear you spit who's ever uh, ghostwriting that shit. Again, <laughs> Sin is in the studio now as a first time, you know, aspiring, trying to do whatever she's trying to do. Right. She's coming to me saying, "Yo, you know what's crazy? After you do six like six songs, like." Then you got to figure out what else you writing about. <laughs> like, <laughs> we work. what are you singing about? Like, what song do you need? Right. So I'm in that house. I'm in the house having that conversation, and it's fun for me. Like, yeah, like you got to get outside your comfort zone. Go out. Go do something else. Put yourself in the mind state of something you wouldn't normally do because you got to figure it out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cardi saying all you got to do is sit down and think to write. No. No. Yeah. You gotta experience. You're shit. not. You gotta. I always go you, back. You're to, telling uh, me you're giving away information without knowing you're giving out information. You're telling writers that you're not writing <laughs> when yeah. you say that. Always go back to Chris Rock with quotes. Ninety percent of writing is living. You have to go out and live if you want to write some. Well, like it, it's it, not just sitting there. Of like to Sin's point, you could get maybe four or five records off just sitting and writing shit, just off your past shit. But you gotta go do something. I'll show her a little bit. <laughs> live of something that different. She seems to be living a lot, so maybe for her. It yeah. is as easy as sitting down and writing about what she's That's doing. the other reason but I, I know, know you're if, not writing. If, if, her, <laughs> if her music reflects... That's the other reason yeah, I know I, I she's think, not writing. I ain't heard of uh, this transition Do y'all from know the, how, where Cardi, how much money Cardi's making right this second? A lot. It's a lot. Yeah. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. Well, her last song was called Money. <laughs> <laughs> she don't and, dance and she now. Just she made, make money moves. And she just made $10 million, uh, in three hours. Yeah. That... 
yeah, that's what she is. That that's kind of what she is. She's 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 gonna get a brand to pop instantly. She's like instant pop. Like Lou Will is instant offense. Mm-hmm. She's like instant <laughs> pop to something. The instant pop people aren't normally writing every fucking second and no. like just you just not. Which it takes talent to do that. It just ain't the writing talent. Yeah. Right. Listen, I told y'all that in 2012 or whenever that was, it was a certain point where one of them shits to Drake put out 5 p.m. in New York or some shit. There was one brief moment. It's the only moment I've ever felt like this in my career where I said, okay, I don't see how you have enough time. I don't see how you have enough time to write this dope this often and be everywhere you can be. There's a cheat code. Something's wrong. Hmm. Yeah. That's the only time I've ever felt like that in my entire rap career. Like, like, cause I write heat. I know what it's like to write heat. You gotta think, nigga. <laughs> like, you gotta sit down and chill. Mm-hmm. You can't just if you niggas are just writing heat every day and you at every Raptors game. Mm-hmm. No, how is it happening? I have to know. <laughs> well, that's, that's why um, Guru and Hov say Blueprint Two didn't really work. Hov was like, I was flying around the world at that point like I was really on my businessman shit mm. so the music suffered that's why Surf has <laughs> lost the last however many battles he's fucking because he's went running around working it's impossible mm. yeah it is I don't care how dope you are you can't you can't pull spades and play them mm-hmm. you can't do both mm. what you doing <laughs> right. yeah I agree you're gonna run out and that's uh, well, that's why Kevin Hart get the hate from a lot of comedians there's no way you're making all these movies and putting out an hour special every year yeah, but a lot it's of comedians in, have writers and shit. In the old days, it's a little different now. They're kind of on their rap shit now. Oh, yeah? I want to stay... Yes, there's a stigma if yeah. you have writers. Hold up, because this was a great segue. I want us to stay on Drake for two seconds, because Talib did Drink Champs. Oh, word. And this is how we got to continue to do it. When, when it's time... Oh, no. That's wrong clip. Here we go. But he says to me, in this, not in his house, but in the studio, how... Living in Calabasas while Drake was there was hard on him because he was felt the competitive energy and you. how when Drake moved away, his he had this creative rush. You know what I'm saying? Which to me, I'm like, yo, how you let this next man affect your energy? Mm, wow. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like this is something I felt, but I didn't speak on mm. at the time. Mm. Now I see how the years played out. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like a lot of what he's doing, Kanye wants to be number one he wants to be talked about all the time uh-huh. and if somebody's talking he spent all the last year talking about how dope drake was in every interview uh-huh. drake's the number one rapper drake's the number mm-hmm. one rapper i feel like he's triggered by drake i feel like he's triggered by obama calling him a jackass and i feel like he just wants to be liked and he's misinformed sounds like the president of the united states <laughs> finally somebody says something That makes a little sense of what I've been witnessing. Mm -hmm. That made on. Listen, coming off of our Cardi conversation, where she said, How hard is it to write? You just got to think. Fast forward to our Sin conversation with me telling y'all what she's going through and trying to write songs. Right. This is, even if I don't believe nothing that Talib has ever said, which is not the case, this is very believable. Mm-hmm. When you are a writer, <laughs> when you are a creator, and that space is infiltrated, yeah. I could very well see a, a scenario in which Drake simply living in Calabasas affected Kanye West. Hmm. Absolutely. I don't Absolutely. think that's off. No, no, yeah, no. I don't think all. Talib need to be around Kanye every day to, to get that. I could hear Kanye saying that. It makes the, the the behaviors that I've been watching make some type of sense. Mm-hmm. It makes sense. So move Absolutely. out. He said it when... Uh, <laughs> he did. <laughs> yeah, he said that in interviews when they were doing Watch the Throne, that they were like, oh, fuck, what's this new energy called Drake? Mm-hmm. That he was like really stressed out. <laughs> yeah. That Drake was starting to take over, and it affected Watch the Throne. He admitted this already years ago. Yeah, I So that makes that. total sense. I can definitely see that <laughs> one thousand because you start to look at it's just like when you in school and you the cool you used to be a cool dude in school Eric Carantini yeah and it's like <laughs> all of a sudden a dude, Drake is a Eric Carantini yeah dude comes <laughs> to the yes. school and it's kind of like oh shit like 
and he's in my class. Like, <laughs> listen, yes, Drake is Eric Caratini because a lot of what we remember. See, niggas remember. Niggas remember the shift when the girls liked Drake. Mm. Yes, they didn't like him at first. <laughs> mm-hmm. They they loved his music, would, but him himself, he, he was, wasn't yeah, like. He a, was yeah, begging, yeah. Uh, baby, I love you. Why don't you come through? Like <laughs> they wasn't on. <laughs> why don't you, I never heard that song. I didn't hear that one. But yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Y'all, hear y'all heard Dwayne, the, the, the yeah, redone yeah, yeah. one. I never heard that one. But okay, sing that again so I can shazam it. Why don't you come through? You know, I just want you. Yeah, I want to be under you. Yeah, I never heard that one. Wait, Joe has been his ghostwriter this whole time. Yeah, I never heard that one. What I'm saying when Drake was getting his best I ever had back. Bitch, it wasn't like, oh. Yeah, no. No. It's a couple of years later. Success helps with <laughs> yeah. that. Success couple makes you sex, se- sexy and, you know, in demand. That's true. They was just happy to be in their sweatpants and their hair tied. Yeah. <laughs> wasn't really Drake. <laughs> this shit was so hard. Super underrated record. Super underrated. Oh, my God. Beat. Great record. I love this oh, record. Oh, now so we got to let it ride. <laughs> yeah. Yo, I hate Bruh. that this never gets brought up. It don't. No. See, this is the no- the way of how great this record is. This Wait, is, time out. Is- Before I play this, this is the record with Hove had enough of Nas. <laughs> tell me I'm lying. Somebody yeah. tell me I'm lying. Black Republican came out. They was chilling. And the fight was still even. Yeah. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, so. Now Hope Hope right. sent this to, right. to Nas and say, "Yo, <laughs> oh word, <laughs> I know <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about what Hope, bruh. What do I think of success? It sucks too much stress. This beat is stupid. This is what it sounds like when No ID and Jay Z are mixed properly. <laughs> Huh? That's what it sounds like when Jay Z no idea are mixed properly. <laughs> Look at Parks. <laughs> this, this is why when I heard Parks four 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 was good, even mixed bad. You're right. It was. It was still good. good. It was it's good. But this is what I wanted. To, you know what I mean? Do y'all hear this nigga? Yo, he's super spazzed. You know, I smoked the shit. That nigga. He sounds. He said illustrious. <laughs> And so that's how when you see just rapper shit. When the rapper is just talking to the beat. <laughs> <laughs> when he's not even talking to y'all no more. Yo, let the beat breathe. Guru, watch this one. Yo. <laughs> Somebody order me a steak sandwich. <laughs> yeah, where? Yo, go to the store. Get some. <laughs> nah, you know how this shit was crazy? That's Say, yo, let me move my bowels. He was like, yeah, go ahead and take a shit, hold Go to the bathroom. <laughs> hey, take a break. It's your world. <laughs> It's oh, Tata, that damn Tata, man! All right, I'm not playing no more, man. I don't want Tata to be so incriminated. God damn, Tata been doing shit whole whole career, man. Uh, yeah, and Hope been snitching the whole time. Yo, bad murder the time, kill that nigga. Yeah. <laughs> stab, stab Mark Kelly. <laughs> Yo, hit on with the bomb bottle. God, they're like, whoa, whoa, Tata's chilling. <laughs> like, what the fuck is Hope doing? That's, that's, that's funny as fuck. That's, yeah, funny. Yeah, that's why he needs an alibi of him <laughs> sipping yeah. my time. Yo, Tata's the old nigga, man. Uh, what, right. what made you play that? I'm glad you did. Because Maul, Maul started talking about uh, success. Oh, yeah. okay. And. It's, it's attractive. So, you know, you successful women, you know, they like you. Nas might have sent a little shot at Jay on that verse. It didn't matter. Didn't matter. No, they both they both killed, though. No. <laughs> Jay killed more, but. On that p- specific record. Nah, Nas did his thing on that. But you know, yeah, no, but, no, Nas killed. Yeah, Nas yeah. killed. Don't be silly. But what's highlighted here for me is the Black Republican record was the Nas record. Mm-hmm. So if you... If you didn't like that beat, it was a few people that didn't like that beat. I was one of those people. And then that that, I'll, I'll say, that fed into the whole like Nas, song, Nas beat thing. Yeah. But I'm just it saying. It just shouldn't have been the first one. That song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Come yeah. on. Yeah. It's not Come that on. bad of a record, but dog, when y'all are Come back, on. that's the one you that's lead with. First this one. is what you lead with, success. <laughs> and, and that's why I'm not even pitting their, their verses against each other. This song sound like Hove putting the song together. Mm-hmm. That shit right there. And so. Black Republican sound like. Hove probably just didn't put that song together. Yeah. I'm not saying Nas did a bad job. Right. I don't know who put the song together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But you could tell Hove put Ooh. this song together. That oh, fucking yeah. beat. Stupid. Well, 
No, 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 no. We don't. With you. We don't need to hear where you are. We're, 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 we're finished with you now. Uh, what else do we have here? I'm a uh, for organs. Speaking man. of Nas, did you guys see the film shit that he put out no. with the Nasir? I don't want to see anything about that. Ever. It's like four of the all the records from Nasir. <laughs> Uh, it was shot really well, but it did remind me that it just wasn't it. Yeah, I'm cool. But whoever no shot disrespect. it, disrespect. Whoever shot that, shout look, out to them. I didn't like that. It looked great. I didn't like, the, and it's really late to come with that. I feel like. Yeah, it's a I little, was hoping we were getting something new when I saw the little yeah. teasers. I was like, oh shit, I was about it to come definitely is about too much, too late. Yeah. Oh yeah. well. Yeah. yeah, I'm cool too, yeah. and I and I don't say that to be disrespectful. Yeah, unless, not at all. Nah, that's salute to Nas. He's another one you got to salute. Absolutely. Um. All right. What else we got? Y'all want to talk about uh, <laughs> uh, some things I just hate talking to y'all about because y'all pussy. <laughs> That's a fact, though. Big facts. <laughs> <laughs> so why do we think Janae covered her Big Sean tattoo? <laughs> Let me ask Little Sean. <laughs> I'm Little Sean? Yes. <laughs> I'm not Little Sean. Well, no, there is a real Little Sean yeah. who's a killer. So. <laughs> allegedly, so, Joe. Allegedly. Oh yeah, wait, I'm telling y'all, we got. I'm I'm gonna do. I'm doing my doc. <laughs> There's way too many. Remember Shaheem? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the rugged child, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Listen, that shit with him it. and Big L. I get that it. shit was hard. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, we we're gonna find out pretty soon because we should, we haven't seen them together. It's been a while since we have seen Janae and Sean together. More. So we're gonna we're gonna this is why I don't we're like fi- having these types of conversations. No, we're gonna yeah. we're gonna see it. we're gonna find out exactly what happened within the next two weeks. I mean, you know, if Fam. you get someone's a record face, is coming, Janae his, is definitely dropping a record. It was his face, right? Yes. 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 That was a bad idea for And Joe. his neck. It was like half <laughs> his, his neck, neck and his face. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Face tattoos are a bad tattoo. That's just That's a bad idea. They always yeah. are. Yeah. Are y'all gonna keep it a bean or not, man? You think Come it's on. over? What? I it ain't over till it's over. And even then, Joe, it's you not still over. understand their spiritual journey. <laughs> yeah, what if Janae's like seventh moon is in like its first solace? <laughs> yeah, she could have pulled a different tarot card. Exactly. Week. Yeah, like I don't know what the fuck to cover up the tattoo Joe tarot card. About. Yeah, like her tarot. That. What if a tarot to- told her to get a tattoo? Maybe Sean yeah. changed his face. You don't know. <laughs> Maybe what if it was tarot and tattoo week? <laughs> what if it was like henna from the Jersey Shore boardwalk? What if mm. that tattoo was fake the whole time? Mm. Do y'all think that Janae Aiko is still with Big Sean? Do you think, what's the name of their little group? 2288, 2248, 1728, 1738. Some, some, some password to your Look phone. Look at you trying to guess Bailey's numbers. <laughs> 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 it's over. Them numbers hit, my nigga. Don't, don't try to guess Bailey's nah, numbers. I'm happy for Bailey. Phone number. I'm happy for young Bail. <laughs> <laughs> young Bail. <laughs> now gave, he's young Bail. Gave him a nickname and everything. Yeah, I'm going to hit Bail up as soon as we leave. <laughs> how, how is his space game? Uh, Bailey wasn't the best spade player. So you should probably call him. See if he's he wants to he's play. a good lottery player. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, the only, <laughs> I'm the only Harlem nigga that like want him to keep his money. Like, go keep your shit, man. These niggas want to gamble with him. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, I mean, nobody want to gamble. Them, you them can't, gamble you can't keep up with him. Right Keith now. Yeah. And them niggas is sh- card sharks. I'm not. <laughs> Bringing my 125 million around, <laughs> around you know, all niggas. No, I'm gonna Keith talk. gonna be like, yo, so you got the 125 right there? <laughs> yeah, I'm just walking around with Keith, 125 Keith gonna million. Keep going, and say, yo, I'm good for it. That's yeah. the other thing. How do you rob somebody that has 125 million? Because it's not on him. Hey, his ways. You kind of got to uh, take their mom. I don't know. He, he's from Harlem. He might get that shit in cash and just. Stroll down Lennox. <laughs> nah, he's 70 years old, he says. 70? 71, yeah. Yeah, nah, he ain't oh, doing yeah. that. Bailey said, I'm going to Vegas on you. <laughs> now, now, that's a fact. That oh, might be exactly where he headed. Because he's never been anywhere. Oh, yeah. That's, that's, that's good go for him, man. He should go ahead and buy a building or something. That's great. Just travel. Just buy his mom building. Yeah, yeah. Before Just somebody else shit. get in there. Word. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy for him. Before man. Amazon comes in. <laughs> in Harlem. I don't get it. Back to what we you were saying. We couldn't plow the snow because of Amazon. It's fucked up. It Bailey got they took all the salt. Because they're probably selling salt. You know, the, the, same, the same way uh, Kanye and them hired private firefighters, Bailey got to hire like some private plow guys. Hook <laughs> us up. Save the neighborhood. Big Sean trying to just go on about his business and not give us like not a statement. Hurts. <laughs> <laughs> good one, Parks. That's a good one. Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said. We're going to find out really soon. Because he's going to say something. He has to. In a single. He hasn't yeah. put out on, on the chorus. Music in a while. That's what I'm saying. It's been like two years probably, right? Close mm-hmm. to it? 
Yeah, something like that. I'm shutting up because every time we talk about Big Sean, niggas just say I hate Big Sean. I was just about to say you hated them as a couple, so I know you over here happy. Wait, people say that we hate Big Sean? No, just, hate, just, oh, you no, just me. Uh, that I hate Big Sean. You were a big fan of Big Sean, uh, the first album. First album. Yeah. 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 And then I had valid fan beefs. The second album wasn't really all there. That was my beef. The third album was dope, though. No, but no. Before that, there was a mixtape in there. That was a little right. shady, too. Right. Right. Oh, Detroit? Nah, no, there was another one. Okay. No, Detroit no, was his not, best project ever. Detroit wasn't his nah. first mixtape at that time. No, Finally Famous shit was his mixtape run, and then he did the Finally Famous album. Yeah, no, I'm which was a dope album after that at the time. But either way, something happened back then that made me like, <laughs> yo. Anytime I'm off a nigga, it's, it'd be music based. I'm telling you, <laughs> it's music. Well, yeah, no, I don't, well, no, you, don't, Joe, I, you don't dislike any. Of yeah, that. I, don't, I don't. I don't know. I'm jokingly calling you a hater, I'm, but I'm I don't cool. think you dislike him. Yeah, it's like, just that person. certain moves they make with music. You just yeah. like, why would he do that? If he put out some heat tomorrow, I'm listen. I'm, I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, his last good. two albums were good. The last, I don't know if I enjoyed the no, last one. No, the last one, I'm not rolling with you. Dark Twisted, I mean, not Dark Twisted, the Dark Fantasy. Grace, Grace, What's Scott, the one? Grace, that one, yeah, that Dark, was a good Dark album. Scott. Dark Scott. Yeah, really I enjoyed good. that album. Yeah. The one after that. I liked I Decided. I wasn't a big, you, yeah, I decided. But, I mean, you know. For, was I wasn't really big. It was for Duce Palooza. It was for Duce The collab album. It was for us. It was for Duce It was definitely for us. It was. There's some joints that, you know, that's their vibe. That was their demo? Yeah, you know the vibes. It's cool. vibes. Um, what else we got to talk cool about? cool colors on the, on the album cover? Yeah, that was fast. What else we got to talk about? Uh, let's talk fun? about uh, stage diving etiquette. <laughs> okay. Because the legend Keith Murray, I saw a performance he had. The legend. Yeah. Where was he at? He is the legend. He is a legend. And when you say that, it's funny. Looked, it looked like it was one of those banquet rooms, banquet halls. <laughs> Wait, he's stage dived at a wedding? Uh, me, uh, me and Joe have been in a couple of those little venues. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we a couple of VFWs. Of me, me and Joe had to run out of For 2500 Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we had, we Yo, had what was that shit the day uh, Life of Pablo came out? Oh, uh, in Allentown? <sighs> I think it was, no, I don't even know if it was Allentown. Nah, this was out somewhere in the middle of nowhere. Dog, that was, Allentown's that was a, far. That was a wild venue. Nowhere. Yeah, that was crazy. Way too many times we asked for the other half of 2,500. <laughs> 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 no, that's nuts. <laughs> no, it was nuts sometimes when it wasn't there. Like, word. Oh, word, word, St. Louis. <laughs> This just ain't gonna give us the thirteen. <laughs> she's gonna show, She's gonna give us five hundred. <laughs> yeah, you, you think I'm supposed to pump it up for this? <laughs> no, no, Can't, not getting it. Holy shit! <laughs> the other half. Twenty five hundred. Asked for the other half. Y'all <laughs> the twenty five hundred. Niggas thought was your wife retired. Oh, tough. <laughs> <laughs> they have no idea. Yeah. That's why, cool. why are you retired? <laughs> Give us something. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know. Yeah, I, I, we'll wait right, you wait right there for it. <laughs> we'll be back to your local VFW in no time. Yeah, no yeah, yeah. 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 Yo, you cool. remember when we, when we was at that? Oh banquet? man! Oh, no, no, no! Please, <laughs> we don't make that, me remember it. At that banquet hall, I don't. I think it was upstate somewhere, man. And. One of the it was like the, the some dudes that some local dudes I guess they performed too they had like a camera dude of, of course oh this is I know what you're and the about. camera dude walked in front of Joe this was the night on, on stage can we tell the full story when we walked into the hotel room and we found the backpack oh because that was to, that's very important in this story you're the engineer so you can edit it so the just promoter, tell the story <laughs> the promoter gave us the wrong room key yeah so we, you know we walked into the room we was like we're gonna chill in the room just until Joe got it going or whatever. We get in the room and it's like mm, somebody's been in here. There's like a somebody, belt and shit on the, there on was, the bed. There was a bed is on me. TV yeah. was on. Yeah, like there was shower. Wait, it was actually, one I want to take one more step back. Is when we pulled in, it was like it was like a motel. It was a motel. Yeah, yeah. Like a motel. you could go into the to the room. It was from the, the outside, but yeah, it, it was, was a, a motel that looked like a the like a community center. It like looked a, like a yeah. it was like lodge. Yes, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. yes. It was like that type. It was of like setup. a project hotel. Yeah, like, there was yeah. a lodge. Somewhere. The hours of lodge motels. <laughs> yeah, mad one level hotels yeah, yeah, yeah. in like a row. You can yeah. pay in a, in a maze. Hours. And then there's the, the the rooms that didn't have the lights, and that's where our room was. Yeah, with the lights on before before we got in there. Right. Yeah, we go in a room and then we see a bag and shit. So we like. Who's, who shit is this? So naturally, we start looking to the shit. It was a burner. 
It was an Uzi. No, it was an Uzi. Yeah, it wasn't and, just and a burner. burner. It was a, it was a handgun, a, a, a automatic weapon. Hollows. It was cash. With hollows. We was like, yo, did we just walk in on a dope deal or something? Like, yeah. yo, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. So we you get know what's out really of wild about that though. They really could have got y'all killed. Fam, we talked about all of this on our way back to the cars. <laughs> like, we, a lot. like we was like, nigga, we're getting out of here. Yeah. So then the promoter comes and he's like, yo, I gave y'all the wrong key. That's my room. So now we're looking at the promoter like. <laughs> So we started, we telling him like, cause we took the burners. We like, nigga, niggas ain't going, <laughs> niggas ain't going to yeah. come back, get the burners yeah. and rob and us at the show. And let me just yeah. point out, I don't know what Rory talking about. Ain't no nigga killing me while I got a Uzi. Nah, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm saying in the scenario that y'all keyed into a room oh, yeah. that had people like that and were Oh, no, that was, that was the drop. That was the drop. That was the drop. That was the drop. Yeah. Yeah, that was the drop. But no, we, we took the guns and we went back to the car. And then a promoter came to the car. He was like, nah, that's my room. And then we had a laugh about it, gave him his guns back and shit. Yeah. But then we get back on the stage. <laughs> Joe was performing. So some local dude I up there, I guess. would have been right on that highway. It was yeah, also, it was like a six, show. six inch stage. Like we're just yeah, barely off those. the ground. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and he, you know, the, the, the camera dude, he didn't have stage etiquette. At right? All. So he, he keeps walking in front of the artist. Instead of, I mean, when you have the burner it. and a camera, I guess you could. No, this, move. Is, no, this, this is not the this promoter. Was, this wasn't the yeah, promoter. Like, this was some other random dude. So I seen it coming. He did it twice. Joe yeah. stopped him. Yo, fam, what the fuck are you doing? You know, Joe started going crazy. He told him one time, like, yo, just don't do that. Yeah, no, please. And then it, it, it turned into something. And then I guess the dude, his peoples was there. They didn't like the way Joe was talking yeah. to him. Yeah. They like, yo, that was what they the fuck? Uzi. I, 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 yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and these <laughs> niggas started throwing chairs, on one bottles, Uzi. Heineken bottles. Fam, we had to. We, first of all, the the door to get out was locked. That was the, That was the that was the point. So we were like, like, oh, these oh, niggas shit. tried. To, <laughs> they tried to lock us in here. <laughs> the fucked up shit is after all that shit. That, yeah. that wow. was the point. Where it was like, How oh, fucked up? I'm like, yo, the door to get, get out is locked. Yeah, man, we horse kicked that door up so quick, <laughs> man. Got in that car, gone. Someone wanted to go back in for the. What, did the you get, did you get your second half of the deposit? <laughs> no, Corey, Corey went in. He went. He's no, like, no, we, we got to go back in. No, we got the twelve five. <laughs> <laughs> Had to get the twelve five. Bust that down. <laughs> we we did not know. for the twelve five. Yeah, you think we went through all that not to walk out with the twelve five, my nigga? <laughs> Had to get the twelve five. Ain't mad good that night. <laughs> that is sick. <laughs> that is sicko. <laughs> that was a wild show. <laughs> Fun times though. Fun times, man. I wouldn't trade it for the world. Right. By the way, cartoon guy. Cartoon that no, way. nigga. <laughs> yeah, no. I'm gonna fuck him up wherever he is. I swear. I'm wherever gonna catch him. He is. I'm gonna catch him. He worked for me. I'm gonna catch him. <laughs> Fellas, wait. That was a punch in. <laughs> um, listen. During the break, <laughs> I was admiring Savon swag. Savon, you was admiring. <laughs> Savon got a three tone windbreaker on. I ain't seen that shit since fifth grade, Miss <laughs> Miss Morgan. <laughs> like a three tone windbreaker, hmm. some dirty gray sweats with the black Adidas. Mm -hmm. He don't have no <laughs> other black on. That's what lets me know someone's in a dark place. <laughs> <laughs> when they when when they throw the black kicks on with yeah. nothing else black, yeah. like that ain't just oh I'm gonna kill him with the contrast. <laughs> yeah. That's nah, no, man. I'm, I'm, I am contrast. I, 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 I'm <laughs> feeling my contrast. Life is contrast. I am hurt. Savon, yeah. Savon, what's up, man? Chilling, man. Sober for my nigga Savon. That nigga girl is never coming back to him. Mm -mm. He cool though. <laughs> that, you, that's what you're saying. He he gonna be alright, man. He's gonna be alright. Savon gonna be in the motherfucking DMs any minute. <laughs> yeah. His, Savon, at, his at is Joe Button Pod. Why you be starting all of these? Like I. Part of the reason I hired you was because you are assertive. But Maul brings up a good point, man. Like, you've been starting different podcast initiatives, like, <laughs> on your own. Like, I just wake up, and you're on the time, I'm like, all right, who won the sleeper pick this week? <laughs> <laughs> like, what you be doing in them Joe Budden pod DMs? Engagement. It's engagement. Engage. Is Think that what he's telling engage. his girl? He's engaging <laughs> in the DMs. He about to get yeah, engaged from the DMs. <laughs> he's telling his ex it's just engagement. Yeah, he got that off. Yeah. He thought he got it off. It's just engagement. Oh, oh the, the townhouse shit is sold out, but I got tickets for you. Yeah. yeah you know it's in there. Who wants to win the exclusive VIP package with the fellas? <laughs> That's how you Come know you're backstage with, with the me. Fellas. Yeah. That's how you know you're trying to be single when you're telling your girl that it's sold out. Yeah. <laughs> 
That's what I've done. But, with but every I can I can, I can get you a table. <laughs> yeah. We have listen. A few months ago, Rory moved in with his girl, and then I promised our listeners that every week, two times a week, check in. I would deliver uh, updates on Rory yeah. living with his girl. Did you start using her. We started, uh, we started out strong. Did you start using her shampoos yet? No, I've been he doing been that. He's been using it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I used to peep what she had at her crib and buy it. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. Yeah, that's old shit. I started using the shampoos. Yeah, that nigga little red beard be laid down. <laughs> yeah. It'd be like... Moisturized. You know what it is. <laughs> how do you think... red beard be laid down. How do you condition think, that shit right. I don't think Rory be fucking black chicks. <laughs> lay down the lay down the beard. In, in his past. In his past. <laughs> right. In his past. Come yeah. on, not now. Yeah. You're fucking married now. Right. But in his past, laying down the red beard... <laughs> Yeah. So what? A lot of coconut oil. Rory, you haven't been home since you moved in with your girl. That's a fact. That's an update. <laughs> that, that's an update within the that, update. That's an update. Yeah. Y'all trying to go out after this? <laughs> you trying to go do something? Trying to bond? Yeah. It's a Friday night. As I know, win? I'm... With I'm, the fellas. Yeah, with the fellas. Who wants to win lunch with the fellas? <laughs> That's a sick Nobody wants Save to on. win lunch with us, Save Save, out of Save on. We didn't even offer to go to lunch <laughs> yeah. with, with I never nobody. Eat lunch, by the way. So. Word. I skip lunch every day. <laughs> yeah. Fuck are you trying to get so the podcast So if the Joe Button popping. Pod hits you in your DM, talking about who wants to win lunch, it's Save on. <laughs> trying, to get, trying to get lunch with somebody. It's not us. Don't expect the fellas to be there. Yeah, that's fucking bum ass Savon at Sushi Samba with the fans. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, there's traffic. Sushi Samba. They, they're running late. I know. Word. Sushi Samba. Hey. Hey. Puff calls. Joe had to do something. Yeah, yeah. You know how that go. Man, Sushi Out of Samba. my hands. I'm sorry. Yeah, he's, he's that guy Puff call. Yeah. Hey, Savon, if I ever hear that you mentioned Puff name, man, <laughs> you better not say nothing about Puff. Shiny suits, nothing, nigga. <laughs> All right, what else? Back to Keith Murray, Maul. Yes, Keith I don't Murray, know. the this legend. This is a wild podcast. <laughs> no, it was just interesting, man, because I, I came in and I asked you guys, I said, yo, how hot do you have to be on the charts? Because it's, it's stage dive etiquette. You have to know when it's okay for you to stage dive. And but you, this said, was, you said that you do need to be hot on the charts to stage dive. Yeah, and well, I, and I said I disagree. No, nah, you could have nah. a cult. You got to have a good yeah, cult. Yeah, yeah. That's why I disagree. But a cult, yeah. if you was once a on the charts. A cult would usually mean that you're pretty consistent and pretty hot. No, not necessarily. Colt, no? Colt, yeah. I don't associate with hot. Because Colt would always, it will always support you. I bet you them ICP oh. dudes is jumping on. Yeah, stage I think I think Tech Nine could Colt, swan dive anywhere. For sure, Colt, I... Colt is loyal. Yeah, is okay, a faithful fan going. base. I see where you're going. Hot is, oh, you on fire right now? I see where you're going. Right. Okay, so he, you need a Colt. Keith Murray's not you, you on need fire. You at least need you a Colt. At least need a Colt. He probably was banking on, uh, I got a Colt. These niggas will catch me. Yeah, so I, you know, I was <laughs> yeah. looking at it and. And you have to look at the ratio of how many people are actually there and who can support your weight. You know, I don't yeah. like to get into ageist things too, but you know, Keith Murray's fans are probably a little bit older. They're probably not that I, eager I, I to catch. I took all of this into account, Parks, right? And then I looked at the video. <laughs> a bunch of 40-year-olds going to catch you? <laughs> yeah, but then I, I looked at the video and I'm like, he asked. He said, So the crowd was not no, me he too. Did. He said, should I dive? <laughs> What I, they said. I didn't How hear much of a response. Wow. But then How he said, should I die? He probably locked death. eyes with somebody because then he gave the head nod like, okay, it's, 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 it's He was okay. thinking maybe they didn't hear me. Yeah. <laughs> but usually when you say, should you I die, the crowd goes crazy like, yeah, fuck yeah. Like, come on, bro, let's do it. No, no, no we are not. It wasn't really that response. But then the legend Keith Murray took it upon himself to say, you know what? Fuck it. Here you go. I'm feeling a moment. I never want to hear that Keith Murray took it upon himself. He took it upon himself <laughs> and he dove into the crowd. How was that? They, they didn't catch him. They didn't catch him? No. They didn't catch him. Not even like a leg? No, he was on his back. He was on the floor. <laughs> Straight. He pancaked. Damn. Actually, the crowd moved and looked at him like, yo, fam. Like, <laughs> what, what were you thinking? Can you just do the most beautifulest thing in the world, please? Yeah, it's like... <laughs> But Keith Murray shouldn't be stage diving. His music wasn't particularly I, stage divey. Method Man, was. Red Man, yes. Yeah. Method Man doesn't stage dive. He walks on the crowd. Right. Which is insane. That's meth. Keith yeah. Murray should probably just keep his feet on the ground. <laughs> this song reminds me. Uh, this song reminds me of you know old niggas need to shut up. Old niggas just shut the fuck up. Like Why anybody do you have a podcast beef, then? Anybody beefing with, I'm talking about the rappers, anybody beefing with like the Drake run or the Kendrick run. I remember when Keith Murray's run was in yeah. and 
This was when all you niggas were saying a bunch of just shit. <laughs> <laughs> if it rhymed. He, he, he was, that was the most. He yes. Was, he was the all-time leader in like big words for no cannabis, particular. For cannabis absolutely wasn't? no reason at you all. You don't think cannabis was? Nah, Keith. He got that from Keith. Okay. Yeah. Fair. Keith, yeah, that, that was all. before. Yeah. Gotcha. That was before. So it, it was Keith that it was like, that's the streets was like, oh, you heard what he said? <laughs> No. Yeah, the nineties the the nineties did have a, a moment where it was uh, yeah, like let's see you could out big word each other. <laughs> yes, that's why I'm not mad at the the usage of less words today. Cause I remember the over usage of words. Yeah. And y'all was bugging. <laughs> y'all was bugging. We was trying to understand shit. I didn't know it wasn't woke. I didn't know what nobody was talking about. Maul, would you consider stage diving at our live show? Hmm, no. They'd be in I would, seats. I would never. <laughs> yeah, like. He's going to land right to a table. We could ask them to stand up. No. I'm I cool. waited. I waited to the very end of my career to stage dive. I remember you that. You stage dive. And when I did it, I kind of knew that retirement was in the near future. So I, that's why I was doing it. The bucket list shit. Yeah, that's all it was. Just bucket list shit. Yeah, <laughs> bucket list shit. Because I was scared my whole career to stage dive. Because to Maul's point, I never had a, I wasn't, I was, I wasn't hot. But you had a cult, though. I had a cult. You know the Middle East is going to catch you. <laughs> well, that's where I ended up doing it. Yeah, I know. Well, they were very emotional and vulnerable at the time, so I don't know if they could carry the weight. No, you stage dive. I think they were surprised. <laughs> yeah, maybe in New York, too. Wait, stage what, what at Brunch Bounce, too? In apartment 78 uptown. <laughs> well, that was just... Yeah, but that, that was, was pressure from then. Irv. <laughs> that, that, was, that was pressure from Irv. Who didn't crowd surf at, at apartment yeah. 78? That was fun. That was fun because apartment 78 was so small. Yeah, she's like a re- regular restaurant and you stage that. Shit is this living room. It was super <laughs> tiny like carrying in a living and room. all women. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> with like a few, a few of the women. Spanish dope boys that yeah. like try to carry you one hand just because they was with a girl. I didn't really want to touch you. <laughs> <laughs> the women would carry you up though. I stage dive there. I did stage dive in Middle East. Other than that though, I was too afraid my whole career. And even today watching some of the rappers, some of these niggas are afraid to stage dive, or it's just not a part of their thing. You should be, yeah, because you have like and like and, I said. And today, though, a lot of the shows are much bigger. Mm-hmm. That's true. So, like, I was in Middle East Toast Place, wherever these niggas are in festivals. Yeah. So, if you drop at a festival, first of all, that's a long drop for the stage. <laughs> Word. Tory that, does that barricade that shit at every festival. Yeah. Security. That's you I would have, have some, you gotta have some hops. I, True. I, I would have PT uh PTSD if I attempted to stage dive and the fans didn't catch me. Honestly. For sure. I would be I would be traumatized moving forward. Yeah. yeah broken it does something to you as a as an act. Yeah. <laughs> Sit down. Yeah, belly flopping on that ground. There's a lot of shit that just affects <laughs> the brain as an artist, and I feel like the fans just don't Have give no a idea. fuck about it. Yeah, they don't know. They don't know, and they don't give a fuck about it. All right, we ain't catch you, nigga. I'm trying to jam. Sing your song. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't come here to work. Sing yeah, I didn't, come, I didn't come here to catch you. I've been making noise. What do you don't want worry. me to do? I did shoulders <laughs> and chest today. Right. Yeah, yeah. Um, what else is important? Rory, Rory, come on. Give us some music shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you won't talk about music on this podcast. That's all I've been trying to talk about. I, well, let's talk about it. The new music update with Rory. You swear this is just a gossip podcast. That's what I was saying. <laughs> I'm trying to say You and Maul. And keep us credible. Me and Park's trying to keep it, you know what I mean? Hip hop. <laughs> no, y'all are trying to gossip. Me and Maul are trying to keep it credible. Well, keep it credible, nigga. <laughs> give, me, give me something. What came out? Uh, Anderson Pack. Did you guys listen to? Nope. One time. Not yet. Well, why? I listened to like three songs off of it. I've just been busy. Oh, okay. Well, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, Anderson Let's... Pack is his own genre, I think, at this point. I wouldn't even know what to classify that music. Yeah, mm-hmm. it was groovy. It was very well, the groovy. Well, li- the live instrumentation shit was amazing, I thought. Yeah, there was like a saxophone solo at one point. Anderson Pack never gets the press I feel he should get. <laughs> Ever. Yeah. Does he? But does he target that, though? I don't know if he... he... He be working, man. See, I don't know what that means when you say that, because... I some... don't know if he... He may not, but the team that he's somebody with, he does have the machine with Dre. He, he would rather go out and play the damn drums and sing that's live on stage. I know. So we need somebody that knows that that pays attention to the other shit. Like, yeah, and it's impact. You get more. She get more. No, I agree. No, I don't even know what to call his music. The shit is a whole different experience. It's groovy. But you know, uh, you know the vibes, right? I know the vibes. He blends yes, genres to tell well. Us. He blends genres well. Yeah, in his music. He does, and he's. A much better rapper than he gets credit for as well, because yeah. he's rapping on this album. His LA, yeah. his LA Leak of freestyle was crazy, but he had a uh, not to like damper the mood, but he had an interesting Mac Miller bar. 
where he said, how do I tell somebody to slow it down when I'm living just as fast as them? Mm. Mm. That's real. Thought that was interesting. That's real. No, not me. There's plenty of times I was high, mollied up and zannied up and perked up and seen another nigga was like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, he's not living right. <laughs> he's not really handling the drug usage. Like, what's up with him? <laughs> what's up with his squad? All right. <laughs> Nobody's going to talk to that guy? Yeah, like, somebody needs to talk to him. Where's my Altoy case? But somebody <laughs> has to talk to him. That guy is not performing that song to its oh my God. full culpability. <laughs> <laughs> so man. fuck what y'all talking Plenty about. Plenty of times I've been mollied and zannied and said, "Wait, no, that yeah. guy though." Tell me, I'm lying. Y'all ain't been high and then seen another high nigga like Absolutely. he should stop getting high. Absolutely, <laughs> I have, but I was high, so I didn't say anything. That's my point. <laughs> right. I'm saying you thought it though. Yeah, I'm but def- I'm living just as fast. So like, I definitely smoked weed and sat around a bunch of dudes and said to myself. He got a problem. <laughs> like, I know we all smoking, but he's smoking, smoking. Like, yeah, I don't know he, he, how high yeah. he trying to get it, but, like, yeah. he but should relax. He's trying to get high, high. Yeah, some, like, he uh, should relax. That's some addict shit, too, not to call anyone in here an addict, but we all when you are. see... I'm an addict. When you see, when you see someone and doing something... Addict. I know. I'll see someone drinking a little more, be like, yo, at least I'm not like him. <laughs> For sure. I'm super guilty of that. Yo, he's wilding. Yeah. Meanwhile, I have, he's a, I have a double in my glass. Like, all right, where's the bottle at? Right. No, but you know, when you drink and then you walk outside and see somebody like sleep in their vomit, you like, all right. Or just fight in the air. Yeah, like he has a problem. Like, <laughs> Or I, it's a great night. <laughs> uh, I don't know about Not in that. this weather. I've had a few great nights that ended up in me sleeping in my vomit. Jesus. Maybe when I say a few, only two or three. <laughs> It's okay. It's always an interesting story when you don't remember what happened exactly. Well, when you're not laying in a vomit, like when you when you just kind of lean over the toilet and chill. <laughs> I've been. Tell there. me I'm lying. No, you come on, give it to me. Sleep that give way. it to yeah. me. I've been there. Sometimes you get home and just gotta chill over the toilet. <laughs> just in case. <laughs> Yo, sometimes sometimes the toilet's cuddle game is pretty strong. Well, it's nice and cold too. Yeah, yeah cold. no, oh, the toilet oh, can cuddle yeah. the shit out of you. <laughs> Yo, a cold toilet. Yo, what? Yeah. yeah. That bathroom but, floor would be ice cold. I've that definitely felt amazing. some porcelain that felt better than a woman in some certain cases. <laughs> that cold toilet is clutch some nights. That stuff. shit, oh man, it's <laughs> the, the move. Night, yeah. What? I, I've been there. Because there's only about, I mean, if I'm being honest, it's only an eight minute stretch in there where you feel like, Oh, that's nasty yeah. death. What okay. happened to me? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Once you get the nasty shit out, it's like, all right. I'm all right. Yeah, I'm <laughs> a little yeah. sip of water. And, yo, <laughs> some, God, bread. I don't, yeah, some, some bread. Yeah, some bread. <laughs> yo, and God forbid you find the little bathroom mat. Uh, that's better than oh, a posturpedic mattress. God. Oh, I found that. Oh, I'm good for the yeah, night. I'm laying down for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's true. Damn. I'm the nasty nigga. I get the comfortable elbow position on the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> like y'all just, I'm comfy on the toilet. <laughs> nah, you gotta lay down on the floor. I've yeah, definitely yeah. laid down on the you bathroom. Need that mat. cold for sure. That should have saved your life. Yo, as adults, now that we having this conversation, I've had really scary moments in the bathroom as an adult. <laughs> on like how so? Drunken nights, you mean? No. Period. <laughs> Let's say drunken nights, mm-hmm. the the pill nights, mm-hmm. um, the hangover nights, mm-hmm. uh, shower sex, <laughs> soap falling. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a dangerous place. It's all tile. Death has occurred, <laughs> almost occurred in the shower a few times. I mean, in the bathroom a few times. Water just getting on the floor. You don't <laughs> know it. <laughs> yeah. Now you just walk in on a <laughs> yeah. wash your feet a little too well. They're a little slippery yeah. now. Oh my god! <laughs> That's that little, every shower. That by little the move way. when you're in the shower and you pick one foot up to, to go in good <laughs> without like a great grip. Yeah, I have almost died at least ninety times in the bathroom. Yeah, yeah That's every I, think, I think as you get older, you you lose the suction on your feet in the shower. <laughs> like yeah. it wears out. Yeah, because you don't lift work your feet like up. To, yeah, work. like when you lift your feet up to wash your feet. Yeah. Listen, that right leg, boy. Listen, if that you be like, if this leg give out, I'm going through all of this shit. Dude. Everything is breaking in the shower. Yo, one of the, and one even of the worst. if it don't give out, now you just like, damn, like why the the right side of inside my foot just ain't the strongest? Yeah. <laughs> like, just feels ailments. One of the one of the worst ailments. things I did. I was in high school and I was at 
Shorty who had like the cool mom's crib, which means like you could drink in their basement and right. she didn't give a fuck. Like, every, could, everyone lost their virginity oh, at that and house. And you could yeah. fuck her. Her mom wouldn't care. <laughs> no, that's exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> she was that cool mom. So, <laughs> and you could try to beat mom. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, she was with it. Uh, I was drunk and I couldn't find the light in the bathroom. And they had the furry shit on top of the, the toilet oh, seat, yeah. but it was dark. So I thought just because it was dark there, it must be open. <laughs> I pissed all over the furry shit. Oh, man. Like, everywhere. I've pissed yeah, it. And, and then <laughs> Savon, go in and cover it for me. <laughs> Get that nasty award. <laughs> and then, didn't when I didn't hear toilet, I said, oh. At least you were sober I'm enough to know. I'm all over that. So this was before, like, cell phones was really popping. I just left. <laughs> That's I just crazy. completely left. That's saw, saw them the next day. Yo, what happened? I had to go home. I blacked out at my friend's house one time. and <laughs> Apparently, I don't remember this, but... I walked into the next room and he had like the, the chairs that had like the tall back and the, you can lift up the cushion. And I lifted up the cushion. I thought it was the toilet and pissed into the chair. That's crazy. <laughs> Cha- chairs do be lying though. So they I do. You know what I'm saying? My homeboy pissed my couch and left. <laughs> my homeboy pissed my couch, flipped, the, flipped that cushion over <laughs> and left. <laughs> and, and, and you know how you know how your couch when... The cushion has been on one side for so long, the color is like. <laughs> so I'm looking at the couch. I'm like, yo, why this shit? The color is like brand new. Yeah, it's like that shit look brand spanking new. I'm like, damn, somebody probably flipped the shit over. Fam, I flipped that cushion over, man. <laughs> I seen that big dark circle. I called this nigga. That's it's, wild. As soon as, as soon as phone hands, he said, yo, fam, like, yo, fam, my bad. Yeah, bad. How, how you flip the cushion and it bounced like? Yeah. Come clean this fucking couch. <laughs> like, <laughs> fuck you, leave it. <laughs> Flip this shit, pissy ass. How do you Wait. even clean that? Wait, y'all ain't never. Spray it with like baking soda. <laughs> no, you just gotta buy a new couch. Yeah. Y'all Look ain't never that. walk in the bathroom on some cool shit just to like piss real quick, but like you was wearing like a long shirt or like a long jacket or something. You lift it up Call and do it, your yeah. one two thing, and then you just, you just piss on on your shirt. <laughs> Yo, when the long shirt started that, to get now, popping, now it's frantic. It's <laughs> <laughs> gonna wet the whole shirt. <laughs> Yo, make it seem that like exact, the put a handprint on it. No, so that like, exact like, thing. <laughs> I was so mad I at piss on all my long hair. <laughs> I was so mad at Austin because Austin was doing like the long, long shirt, shirt thing. king and he was like yo you gotta get on the long shirt wave I was like damn I'm not on the long shirt wave I guess I gotta get on it <laughs> the day I bought it the exact same thing happened I come out the bathroom of the Airbnb and said Austin don't ever tell me to wear a long shirt again I pissed all over the shit <laughs> cause, then, cause when on that, the bottom of it you mean yeah cause when that happens then it's gonna ricochet to your kicks <laughs> like now, now you got just back on the yeah. jeans and normally when you got the long shirt on you got some kicks on that you like <laughs> yeah 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 yo no, sure. outfit is nasty now <laughs> pissy ass nigga get the fuck out of here Pick ass nigga lead a party man you ain't never took a shit and just Oh, this is about to get real nasty. In, in a party, yo, no. yeah, we were just no, talking about Anderson Ball. Pack. Not. <laughs> I was just trying to talk about the album. That shit is fire. You ain't never took took a shit and and no. got up and realized like you wasn't seated properly. No shit, like on the toilet. Nah, that that one I'm gonna leave out. That's never happened to me. You should have like the back of the toilet. <laughs> yo, you a nasty. Huh? <laughs> you shit on the whole toilet. <laughs> No, man. You are disgusting. Nah, I ain't never do no shit like that, man. <laughs> nah, and some of them walk ups in the Bronx, the toilets don't be the biggest. Yeah, right. They don't be the shit. largest. You're not gonna shit on the fucking toilet. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's nah, crazy. that's a good shit when you get a little bit on the <laughs> When you get a little bit on the back. Cause that means you that mean you bending like, oh man, what, what did I eat? <laughs> Yo, I'm in my corner, nigga, in stereo taking this shit in the club. You gotta be a nasty nigga to take a shit in the club and then go back out and continue partying. Like, take your shitty ass home, man. I definitely have ran, ran in the 4040 bathroom to take a shit. This is back Good when bathrooms. It was, back when it was a new phenomenon that 40 had the unisex bathrooms. Oh like, this God. was early in yeah. it. So I would definitely have gone to take a shit while nigga was getting it in next door. Like, <laughs> like, no. That was mad difficult. Now, have you ever shit in the unisex? Because I'm the weirdo that needs quiet. <laughs> Wait, when you taking a shit? Y'all you trying to focus? Y'all don't have like little mental rules? I got, no, you just old. I, I, I need some quiet, man. Now, the door got to be closed. The door got to be closed, yeah. too. Oh, yeah, well, that's a fact. by myself, the door got to be closed. And sing guys oh, nah. shut the fuck what? up outside. What? Yeah. The door is wide open. If nah, I'm in the crib by myself. No. Hell no. Even when I'm home alone, no. I, I still close the back. I lock it. I could be killed. 
<laughs> Being killed on the toilet. My brain goes dude. to the extreme. Nah, I feel that crazy. way about showering, but not showering too. Yeah. I, I, it's not a shower I take that I don't envision somebody walking in and killing me. Absolutely. Doesn't Styles have a sick ass bar about that? I want to kill someone while they taking a shit, so the cops know what I smelt. Funny, some, I've, 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 Styles I've, definitely has a bar about shooting somebody when it, they taking a shit. It was one. <laughs> it was one week I was visioning Styles. <laughs> Killing you? Yes. <laughs> this nigga's mind is crazy. Yeah, because you was probably shitting from the juice from his yeah, bar. This is crazy. I made that a juice and killer shit juice the runs at his shit. Uh, come on, Rory. Come on, man. You don't want to talk about music? <laughs> you talking about all this nasty yeah, come shit? On, I know, Rory. My bad. You talking about shitting on that toilets? Shit, that shit is crazy. Man, music dropped. So you only want to give us none. I know you want to talk was, about uh, crit. You was really excited about Creed 2, Joe. So I want to know if you ran to listen to the soundtrack. Oh yeah, Rory came in here talking about his soundtrack's bike. I'm sorry, I, well, pronounce back again? Bike. I can't really picture Rory saying bike. He said it, he <laughs> Unless said he was it. talking about how he's getting around. He said it, he said bike. Uh, I'm the corny guy that favorited this Creed 2 review that was shitting on the movie to come in here and read it so it could substantiate <laughs> me shitting on the movie, but then I felt really corny, so I'm not doing that. Yeah, I'm, do that. I'm not doing that. But uh, I heard the movie's bad. Oh, God. What, Creed? Yeah, uh, I heard. I heard. I heard it was alright. People said they wasn't mad at it. No, nah, I'll, t- I'll take the clone. <laughs> you take the clone over the movie. I'm cool. I get. It. I-, I agree. I would too. Then Lenny S just be pissing me off. Like, why am I Joe, seeing a bunch of oh Lenny S. Michael B. Jordan pictures Here together we go again. when Stop. Creed is That's out? Their friend. Their friend. I know. Joe. I don't want to see the friendship. <laughs> <laughs> then unfollow him because Ghost, right. <laughs> Ghost was in there. Like, it was a bunch of niggas, and I'm like, yo, why do I have to witness the friendship? Yeah. I don't want to do it. I, I feel you. It's a little sickening. Sometimes people are a little too out there with the friendships. Yeah, I'm sick of and looking at really niggas' friendships, right. man. Just I don't want to see them. like why y'all can't just be friends. Yeah, go have a drink. Like, I, like me and Mo, we, me and Mo and Rory, we do this podcast for like 700 weeks. You never see a picture of me and Rory and Mo. <laughs> That's a ever <laughs> except when, when Spotify, Spotify made us <laughs> made us do. I hate all those fucking Spotify pictures they love. Yo, those are trash. I didn't have a beard. We look awkward. We look like we don't take pictures together because we're That's friends. Exactly what it looks like. <laughs> Yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't, I'm tired of seeing friends take pictures of each other. Yeah. The one we went with I'm done with that. The one that, the one that we used was, was kind of hard. I mean. Yeah. Which we had to switch. Kind of. Yeah. Like three times. That's probably the best one. Anyways. Well, yeah, Spotify listen to the Creed 2 we, soundtrack. Spotify don't care. We, we killing over there. It's only us that's like, yo, to pick. <laughs> pick <laughs> wasn't really it, B. Spotify looking at a whole different metric. Yeah. Now, it's pretty like, dope, though. There's a lot of uh, soundtracks by, like, hip-hop artists. Yeah, this year with the Black Panther single, getting Kendrick. Mike Will with Grinch this one. Just did, I, mean, uh, I, I mean, think they just did the Grinch. Uh, Tyler. I'm telling yeah, you, man. listen, in the era of people cool. pretending to care about shit, let me just come clean. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't. And don't call me grumpy. Don't call me old. I don't care about soundtrack. You're grumpy, you're old. It's not waiting to excel. It's, it's not like. No, the Black Panther shit was hard. Yeah, that, that's I'm gonna, I'm gonna always, I'm gonna always support you going to the niggas that you should go to. Like Kendrick, T. Have a blast. Mike Will, too, I thought was good. Mm hmm. Listen, go to niggas in the culture and get your soundtrack. Great. I am not going to my phone to purchase a soundtrack. I'm not. Why? You got you got to blow me away. Pause. You didn't love the Boomerang soundtrack? Like this isn't a new thing. Why can't and, you do it now? And I went to a store to purchase it and when I lost that, I stole my mom's and when I lost <laughs> that like like we got the Boomerang CD at least 10 times in our lives. I'm right, not so going go in my phone uh, to get a soundtrack. You got to be really, really, re- it got to be stupid crazy. I don't. Did you not think the Black Panther one was? No. Oh, I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed that album. I that did was, too, but it's, I don't confuse what I'm saying. Boomerang, waiting to excel. Like there's certain soundtracks that were better than any album that was coming out. I don't feel like we're back in that era. Nutty Professor. Yeah, I, we're not uh, back in that era to me. Now we're just in the era. I'm of, not saying it's an era. We're but in Black the era Panther of brand, is part of the album of the year we're, conversation. We're into we're into brand integration today. That's what everything is. Everything's integrated. So, Cardi, Fashion Nova, Kendrick, Creed, fucking list. Everything is integration. A Kardashian with anything, Kanye and anything. Kith, Greg Lauren. Yeah, everything. Everything is <laughs> trying an, to trick every, you. Everything is an integration. <laughs> Listen, I read an article a little while ago that talks about Apple getting ready to purchase iHeart. And while I have an amazing deep dive on it, I'm not doing it yet. 
But say, integration say it for your business podcast. In, integration. Even mm. the business podcast. Integration. <laughs> <laughs> It's all integration. Yeah, of integration of is worth is. way more than the fucking music. I mean, so, but you don't think it was that way before as well? No. You don't think Johnny Gill getting on that soundtrack was an integration of the time? What soundtrack? Uh, Boomerang. I mean, I know his friendship with Eddie, but like just all the people that were on soundtracks, like you were getting TLC at their peak on soundtracks. It was integration. It was the same thing. Yeah, it was the same thing, but now it's no. just like it's way too much now. Though. I don't view it that way. Now, now we're we're involved, and when I say we, I mean very young musicians are involved on the business side of soundtracks. Back then, from, from like a Paramount perspective, or from the artist perspective, I think you're saying the same thing. I think a Paramount is going to a TDE now instead of going to the label. They're mm. going. Oh, to, okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah, but. I mean, that's just the environment. At that time, they went to the label because the labels were the thing. Now the labels aren't the thing, so they go to the artist. It's just, it's, to me, it's the same thing, just in a different era. I mean, all of it, how things all move. of it is going to always be the same, well, just no, a different let's, lens. Let's slow down. Let me correct Roy here. We think differently, so we say the labels aren't a thing. But the labels are a thing. They own the market. <laughs> So so when you go outside of that and do something like here, TDE, y'all do my whole shit, you are going against what the market dictates you should do. Like you're the exception, not the rule. Mm. So I always want to highlight when people are doing that. Don't take me saying I don't feel these soundtracks as much as I did some of the greatest of all time as I'm not fucking with the movement that's happening because I am. I want more. I want more of it to happen. Right. But I'm just not jumping up and down. You know, the last soundtrack I thought was like close to being in that realm 50 shades 50 shades of gray mm. the weekend would earn it they did the beyonce, beyonce crazy and love yeah. or yeah. Sl- slow remix they had a few joints on there that was like okay i can hear that y'all took a budget and it was solely for producing great a great soundtrack yeah right. uh this, what about uh sorry to cut you off the no, pharrell one that happy came from yeah, what was that? Because that, that was another one that you could tell that they put a lot of money in getting Pharrell and everyone around him. Despicable? Yeah, I think it was. Despicable, Despicable me. me. That there was a lot of money he did, behind that I one. I think he did both albums. Both well, I will say, just to, just to make a note, TDE is well, no, through Interscope. Was one before that. This oh. Mike Will Made It album with Creed 2 is also through Interscope. So there may be a connection there as far as... And what was that other soundtrack that, that Future did every song? Oh, yeah, he just did one recently. Not black, <laughs> I not, black, not, black <laughs> not Black Panther. Not nah, Black he did Panther. One it was um fuck. Damn, I had that. It's shit a wild too. movie. It had the Rick Ross and Smith and Wesson song on it. Superfly. Oh, okay, yeah. Superfly yeah, yeah, yeah. was yeah. a future album. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's dope, man. I like that trend. Yeah. I would just like to to get like a great, 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 great soundtrack. Like album of the year worthy soundtrack. Well, black Panther was that for I me. think it's it in, in the, the conversation. conversation. Yeah. I do too. Yeah. It's in my oh, top. Maybe I should revisit. It's probably my top ten or twelve. It's a really good for album. Sure. Got it. Right. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Uh, Crit put out. I, I don't know what you want to call it. A EP. A single. Uh, it's three records. It's a maxi single. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> a maxi, <laughs> a maxi single. single. I used to love. Remember the maxi, the maxi single? Yeah, I used to love the maxi single. Oh yeah. <laughs> the maxi single. I went looking like you ain't got the the U Dub remix on the maxi single. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Uh, but the Crit shit is cool. I I personally just love when Crit talks that shit I think he's probably one of the more underrated people I think he could talk that shit next to any rapper by talk that shit I mean introspective I don't like, really want to hear the deeper shit he got that with the King part 6 I love always little King series I don't want to hear established artists do 3 song releases so I agree. personally I don't think he needed this just because the album was so good Yeah. I don't think you need to stay hot you're not that type of artist Right. but I mean I like the first record a lot other two, two cha- are cool two changes did the same thing he put out a 2 song EP whatever yeah, I didn't get a chance to listen to that. No, that's Two Chains, yeah. He has music coming. Uh, he looks like he's gearing up. Uh, Meek announced his November 30th release date. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's the name of that? Champion? Champion? Champion. Championship. Championship. I don't like the cover in the name. I don't. The cover looks a little... Uh... I didn't hate the cover. The name was like a little odd, but... I'm not mad at the name. Whatever. But the, the co- if, I don't know if that's really the cover, but... I've heard great things about the music. Me and too. I don't typically yeah, sure, hear... So. The way I've heard how good it is is not typically what I hear. So I'll, I'll take that. I guess that's why I don't like the name in the cover. Because 
for everyone that's told me how amazing this album is, they they all spoke about it like it was like a turning point album for me. For Mick. his career, yeah. I've, I've got And I believe it. I hate, but I hate that because when I hear that before the music, yeah. I'm expecting Some crazy so shit. much. And then if it doesn't happen, not saying that it, it's still not going to be a good album, but then if... In my mind, I'm already like programming it to hear like some ph- phenomenal shit. Right. And if I hear anything little less than that, I'm disappointed. But you know what? Even if I never heard that, watching him over the past since he's been released, I would assume this is a turning point album. I might have said that at some point on this podcast that just watching him, it looks like he's at a turning point in his career. Oh no, definitely. Yeah. And we in might his get life. a turning point <laughs> album. He's, from in, him. he's at a turning point. In well, his there's, life. there's so much to speak about. And that's so, probably why champ, the name championship might make sense. Like that, yeah. maybe that's how it feels for him. It's personal. Yeah, yeah. Maybe he'll tie that together on the album, and then I'll uh, regret saying any of this shit. Yeah, I agree. But I do well, look forward to the album November thirtieth. It's a good time for Meek for Atlantic. I'm still waiting for a Ross announcement, man. <laughs> this is that Ross music weather right here. This is it. Like this. Well, is- Le- LeBron said it's coming. Savon, <laughs> <laughs> why are you laughing? <laughs> LeBron did say it's coming. I know. I, I saw the tweet. All right. Where's my phone? Let me make uh, sure. I forgot to mention our no, last. No, don't mention episode. it now. I'm cool. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Jamila Two Project, which is Ninth Wonders label, is a compilation shit. I don't know if you guys heard it, Parks. Yeah, you'd, I heard be, it. you'd be the one that I would yeah, ask. I heard it. I heard it. Uh, but not being biased here, if you want to hear boom bap that sounds like 2018, want to hear new the new lyricist. The legends, Black Thought on there and shit, and want to sprinkle in some R and B. Yeah, go fuck with that album. Yeah, they they kind of covered That's everything. Dope. If you're a music nerd, there's some other dope shit that came out. Yeah, check out that Jamila Two shit. We gotta we gotta uh, salute and congrats to uh, Snoop on getting his Hollywood Walk yeah. of Fame star. Round of applause. Long, long overdue. He's been announced to receive it. It's, that's that's huge. super long overdue. Yeah. Do you guys think Snoop Dogg is the most famous rapper ever? No. Most famous? He's probably the most famous face. He's up there. Right. Who else would be more famous? Face. I'd be curious to hear this answer, Joe. Yeah, me too. Uh, let me think about it then. I'm, most famous I'm, rapper? I say most fa- famous rapper ever. Uh, Pac would have to be up there. Yeah. As far as fame. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. I think that's why I immediately dismiss Snoop because I wouldn't put it I'm not even Pac saying music all. wise. He just became. Me neither. <laughs> I think he just became years. a he just became a thing, sort of. Like t- I'm talking like the whole world. No, but I type think shit. I think a few years like ago, my I read grandmother that knows who Snoop Dogg. Yeah, is. like I read that Snoop. She don't know who Pac is. The one of the most recognizable faces in the world. I'm sure. I think a few years ago, I, I, heard I think that. Snoop might be the most famous rapper ever. He's up there. He's definitely in. The, he, yeah, I'm not he's definitely in the convo. Yeah, for sure. I agree. On a short list. For sure. LL. Yeah. For sure. Snoop got LL beat. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. LL's yeah. pretty famous, too, though. No, I agree. <laughs> well, if you count Will, if not, you count Will Smith, Will Smith, then yeah. I put Will Smith at number one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I'm, Snoop is like a rapper. Rapper. <laughs> I'm not counting Will Smith. Yeah, Will's music wasn't... The music Yeah, part. he's not known. That big. I mean, My grandmother yeah, well, knows first, Snoop Dogg is a rapper. First rap artist to win a Grammy. Yeah, but I'm talking about... Good for him. Then after that, <laughs> what happens? Yeah, I'm talking about after that. <laughs> I'm such a dick. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Nah, Will Smith had a pretty uh, fruitful music career. I'm not, I'm not saying he didn't. No, I don't think in comparison I, I to think Snoop, a small portion of the world knows that he was a rapper. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Or knows knows his music. That's fair. Period. Yeah, that's fair. But yeah, congrats to Snoop, man. Salute. Oh, no. Yeah, that's great. That's a, that's, that's a uh, major accomplishment. Two million is uh, suing Fortnite. I want to shout him out because I've been saying that he should sue somebody for a few years now. <laughs> yeah. And I've been communicating with him and we were supposed to get up and we never did. I'm glad that he took initiative on his own and figured out a way to sue the shit out of these niggas. So, uh, round of applause Close to Two Millie. Happy for him. Uh, that's all I got this week. Uh, quickly... Did you guys see Swizz's explanation on Rap Radar about why he left the Jay-Z, Nas, DMX, and Jadakiss record off his album? No, what he said. To sum it up, he basically said, I didn't want to put that record on there because he streamed it with Just when they were doing the beat battle. Right. So everyone was like, yo, where the fuck is that record? Right. He said, we're in a time where people would just run to that record and then forget about my album. So I didn't put it on there. So? Yeah. That was my, that was my response. Right. So? Yeah, I'm with y'all. <laughs> Sorry, Swizz. He's yeah. like, no one would 
and Alicia. No one would try to, quote, discover the album. I'm like, dog, you're going to get the people that are going to want to listen to the album and the people that want to uh, want to click it. Right. Fuck it. Get the people that want to click it, and then the rest of us are going to listen to that whole album. But he's still got two more albums coming out, apparently. According yeah, to him. Know. So hopefully it'll surface somewhere. Whatever, man. Swiss, you should have put that shit on there. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, like, you fuck out of here. You feel some type of way about that? <laughs> yeah. No, I'm with you. Of course I do. That's all I got. Me too. I'm done. I ain't mean to get these niggas close to three hours on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. It happens. Uh, yeah. We ain't get into KD it. and Draymond. And we we briefly talked about it We ain't get into... Yeah, but now they got clips that came out that looks like KD said, this is why I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I'm hot. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Mims. And we won't get into Maul and the Knicks and his horrible sports takes this week. Only why you think my sports takes are? my sports takes aren't horrible. The fans are saying you had a spark when you started, but now you just garbage. <laughs> you just we garbage. We only now. watch sports. I'm talking to niggas that just to read whatever pops up on their timeline. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> you can't talk to me. Um all right, Saturday sleepers. Do I have one? <laughs> why was that called re- return of the boom bap? Well, Nigga, because the boom bap came back. Right. <laughs> what? What? When did it leave? At that point. Nah, uh, that was early nineties. <laughs> no, I'm. I'm gotta ask. I'm not. That. I'm kind of being sarcastic, but not really. What? Why was it called that? Nah, Rory's right. KRS State tried to bring the boom bap back when it was there. I don't understand it. at that point why it was called Return of the Boom Bap. Because KRS felt like y'all wasn't respecting the Boom Bap, nigga. He is so boom it's he back was, now. Right. Well, no, there was a lot at that time. There was a lot of uh, like R and B and uh, uh, R and B was Jack around swing, forever. New Jack Swing, no, but it was coming into hip hop more. What hip hop dawn? Yeah, <laughs> one one group. They were popular. No, I'm not rolling. This wasn't when PM Dawn was out, was it? This was ninety one, ninety two. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's PM Dawn. Yeah. Oh, well. Was PM Dawn popping in 91? They had one they of the only biggest had one records album. that, that year. They wasn't popping, though. They, they might have one. They had one of the biggest records of that year, though. Remember you sent me? That was a remake, right? That was a cover? That that PM Dawn record, the first one when they was talking? Baby, you sent me. Uh, you guys think uh, You guys uh, think PM Dawn was like Drake before Drake? <laughs> yeah, kind of. Why you laughing? <laughs> Why are you touching me? <laughs> Why are you looking at me? It's no, I was trying to uh, hit the note, though. Nigga, don't look at me and try right. to hit the note, nigga. This nigga Joe is crazy. Nigga looked at me like, I didn't know the record. I wasn't eyes, looking though. at you. I was looking you at look, nah, in the you distance. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> yeah, what's up with you, man? <laughs> <laughs> this nigga looked me in my eyes and started to hit the high. Uh, uh, listen, all right. We bid you adieu. Thank, thank you for listening. Hi, uh, yo. Uh, Keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there, especially Maul and Rory. Though. Three hours on a Saturday, I don't hear a complaint from none of y'all. <laughs> Man. The, fu- the funny shit is, <laughs> we could have talked for another 40 minutes. <laughs> oh, I still got shit on my list. <laughs> Me too. Man, fuck your list. We here. Nah, I wanted to talk to Rory and Parks about their fucking relation, their, their beef a uh, beef uh, habits in their relationships. That's a, that's like, a prime time topic, not at three hours. I thought that was a Saturday topic, though. It yeah. is, but just not in, at... Two fifty nine. Oh no no! I'm out seconds. now. Sit down. I'm out. I'm leaving. <laughs> yeah no. This shit is over with. <laughs> Bye. No Joe Biden. No Warrior Ma.